No, the webcam seems bigger than it used to be. Is it just me? I feel like there's more space. Have I fucked something up here? I feel like I have more room. Man. Daylight savings kicked in and I fucked up. I, I really fucked up. Cause I was like, oh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be live on time. It'll be live just on time. Wait, didn't daylight savings kick in the, like yesterday? Oh, it did. Oh, it did and I didn't notice. Um, so yeah, I am late. I am late, the Outlander, but that's because daylight savings in Australia kicked in and I didn't know. Also got a shit sleep, um, which isn't really on me uh, last night. Um, so apparently the power grid in the part of the country I live in is so utterly fucked that they're having to do an emergency overhaul of it. Um, personally, I've never had any issue with it, but um, they are turning off all power at 10 p.m. for the next three nights in a row. At 10 p.m., all power got... Oh, that might be a problem for, ten, uh, for, for golf. Didn't even think about that. How long does that go on for? Please tell me it's only the next two nights. Uh, we are undertaking maintenance. April. Oh, thank God. It's only today and tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they just had to turn off all power. In a significant portion of of the state, like I'd say at least fifty thousand houses would have been out of power for from from uh eleven at uh, ten p.m., which uh in of itself isn't an issue. I was already in bed at that point. Uh, I wasn't asleep, but I I I was in bed. But when all the power goes out, people just go fucking nuts. Um, and decide to drive their cars around uh, all over the place, making very loud noises very late at night, which is lovely. Um, and then the power comes on at five o'clock in the morning and my little space heater starts up because I didn't turn it off before the power went, went out. Um, so suddenly hear in the background, everything goes because they're starting back up. Um, and uh, so I wake up at six o'clock in the morning, have to go around and uh, turn things off. Um, someone should tell them. Tell them what? Um, you have to go home, but you can't stay here. Stream over. Oh, oh, oh. Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, uh, it, it kind of fucked me up. So I'm a little all over the place, but I did get a lot of sleep, which, you know, it's, you want quality sleep. You don't want a lot of sleep, as I've learnt. Time and time again, I've also learned that I am an afternoon person and I stream in the morning, but I don't really stream in the morning because it's currently 12.30 where I live. I'm just, impo I, it's just impossible for me to get up at a reasonable time. Um, how cold is it down under? Uh, I would say it, it, uh, today it's supposed to be 22 here, which is reasonably warm, but the last couple of days it's been like 18 to 15. So uh, none of that warmth is getting to me because I have a story above my head and I'm built into a rock face. So, um, currently 16 degrees down here, according to my little space heater. Shelly, you look like the crack addict version of Leon from RE4. Swear to God, I don't try to look like this. It just happens. But that's very kind of you to say that. If, if there's one thing everybody that is a regular viewer would have learnt about me and streaming and my hair, it's that I don't control my hair, it just sort of happens. I comb it the same way each morning, and depending on the humidity and everything, it'll just do what it wants to do. Uh, FTL, I might play FTL in a little while. Um, firstly, I'm going to play some, some Half-Life, because why not? Um, Half-Life.com? This is, there is no way this is a Valve website, right? It is? Valve, Valve keeps up to date, halflife.com? Huh. They put more effort into this than I thought they would. Explosion during a failed experiment at Black Mesa Research facility rips open a portal to an alien world. This is Golden Freedom and survives. 
but it must now battle both aliens and government forces to save humankind before Earth is overrun. Yeah, spoiler alert, it doesn't kind of do that. He tries to, he almost does. I wonder when these screenshots were taken. Because they weren't taken with much AA on. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. There needs to be like three more S's there. The Holy State is butitled to blend action and adventure with award-winning technology to create a frighteningly immersive world where players must think to survive. The game features an innovative combination of combat, puzzle solving, and storytelling. Yes, this is a, a blurb from the release back in 1999. Not quite as accurate today. Carefully crafted for the single-player experience, every encounter in Half-Life is a new challenge. Eh, eh. A lot of them are the same challenge, which is dodge these grenades, bitch! Grenades! Underslugs! More grenades! Uh, nearly every room throws something out, uh, throws out something you haven't seen before. Also not true. There are a lot of, a lot of headcrab zombies. Every sound is a worrying cue. Something horrible is about to happen. That's not completely incorrect. I haven't had so much fun playing a game in years. Okay, how can you say that, IGN, when, when, uh, sorry, you guys can barely read this, can you? I will finish Unreal. I'm going to finish that on Wednesday. I don't know whether you can say this in an era when uh, you go back 10 years and the most advanced video game you could possibly be playing was Pong. How, how can you, how can you possibly say this, IGN? Gotta sell it somehow, but these are reviews. And this is back when IGN had some sort of credibility as a company. Environments are completely interactive. That's not entirely true. <laughs> I mean, you can usually find something to do in an environment if you just mash E on everything. Um... Players may turn on hand dryers. I still, this, this was like, there was 10 years of this, of the, oh, the most great video games are the ones that let you interact with everything. Not the video games that are actually the best and have the best combat. It's always like, oh, the ice cubes in Metal Gear Solid 2 will melt if you leave them. They'll just melt away. It's like a real world. It's like, no, that's a scripted sequence. It's just a lot of people reviewing and playing video games don't understand how scripting works. Um, and it's usually used to like one or two things of no consequence. Oh, hey, Master Gree. Hey, Jelly Wanker. Yeah, we need to play something together sometime, man. Um, um, <laughs> plus, the materials are so realistic. Slippery floors are actually slippery, which is a bad thing. Which is a bad thing. As we have learned from many a platforming mod, slippery floors are... The bane of your existence, if you're trying to jump and platform in any way, shape, or form. It's tough to imagine someone who likes video games not absolutely loving this gem. That's not wrong. That's not wrong. Even today, it holds up pretty well. Um, the game is full of surprises, continually throwing new obstacles and challenges in your path. The numerous scripted events... Hey! Whoever was writing the GameStop article understands what's going on. The numerous scripted events bolster the illusion of reality. Hey! Hey, GameSpot! Good job! You'll come across detailed scenes that are continuously suspenseful. Yeah, okay, it sounds like whoever wrote the GameSpot article has a little bit of programming uh, knowledge and know-how and isn't like, IT'S A REAL WORLD! It exists. Although, to be fair, Half-Life 1 has some crazy fucking shit that was completely unnecessary, that was actually uh, beyond just scripting for certain sequences, like the hound eyes responding to noise, um, like pack tactics. Like, if you're fighting three Vortigaunts and you kill two of them, the third one will flee, um, which never actually works out too well, because it's all just a little too jank, but... Surely using cars. Uh-oh, you guys can't hear anything.
Someone buy this shirt for Val for Jolly. Oh, I don't know whether I want to click for this. Store for fans buy dot com lambda t shirt. Hold on. Um I'm big now. I'm big. Greetings, brother. <sighs> this is some sort of virus. I swear to God. Greetings, brother. Oh, that's, not, that's not even a bad looking shirt. But I always. Was that undies? Is that Black Mesa undies? Oh, it's a face Greetings, mask. Greetings, brother. <laughs> okay. I, I, I had this up here, right? And I and I could I could see down here, and I thought, is that a pair of black Mesa undies? I would buy a pair of Y fronts with a fucking Lambda logo on it, but no, no, it's just it's just a mask. It's just a mask. I'm surprised they even made this shit. Man, I need to play more Alex. I need to I need to give that game another shot. I'm I was very down on Alex when it came out. I'll still probably be down on Alex, but I should play some. Size chart. I'd probably be a medium, although an American medium, I might be a small in America. The biggest problem I have is, is that I'm a pretty slim dude, but I'm tall. So if I wear it, most shirts that I buy don't fit me because <laughs> I do this with my arm and suddenly my shirt is like, you can basically see my nipple. Face masks are just poorly constructed jock straps. I don't feel like that's true. Do not play more Alex. Literally every stream of that game was just you whining. Yeah, but I feel like a, a new man now. I feel like a new man. Don't feel like that. Why was that made into a... I guess, I guess it makes sense that I was made into a, po uh, into a, into a mouse pad, but at the same time... I don't I don't feel like anybody's anybody's memeing about this or anything. This makes more sense in my opinion. That's cool. Although do we ever do this in the game? There are never any env in environments that are this open like eh. eh. Anyways, um hey guys, what's up? Try the game off stream first. See how you feel about it. Oh, I'll probably no. If I do it off stream, I'll hate it. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's just finish up this page and then we'll move on. So, for some reason, I thought this was released in in nineteen nine. No, I did think it was released in nineteen ninety eight. It was System Shock. I thought that was also released in the same year. What if I click on episode? Whoa, yeah, they need to redo these. Look at this. This is like an original promo shot because there's no AA on any of this. None at all. Seven hour Roy is lost. Earth has surrendered. Black Mesa incident is a distant memory. Nobody's going to know what the fuck they're talking about here. I love it. He's here, he's ready, and he's still going to take a full hour to start the game. I haven't thanked any subs yet. I've got subs to thank. But this is really interesting to me. Because this is just the same website that was made when, when like, I'm, I imagine Half-Life 2 came out. They've just updated the graphics to make it look good. This is more work than Valve did for the whole entire Half-Life franchise from the years of 2009 to about 2019. So this is interesting to me. Nobody knows. Uh, all right. People who know, know. But most people don't know what the fuck the seven year hour, uh, the seven year hour war was. <laughs> the seven hour war was, right? If you ask a casual person who has just played Half-Life what the seven hour war was, they're not going to know. We've never had anything covering the seven hour war. Earth has surrendered. Black Mesa incident is a distant memory. Not really. <laughs> Everybody knows the fuck Gordon Freeman is. It's not really a distant memory. It is very much in the forefront to everybody you run into. Oh my god, it's Gordon Freeman! That guy from Black Mesa! I know because I listen to YouTube videos. Yeah, which is exactly not the regular person. 
seven years and one hour. <laughs> Reawaken from stasis in the occupied metropolitan of City 17. Gordon Freeman is joined by Alex Vance as he leads a desperate human resistance movement striking out against the combine. Does he really lead it? I don't feel like he leads it. I feel like that's Kleiner. That's definitely Kleiner. Shut the fuck up, Twitch. Shut the fuck up. You missed the hype train. Oh no, you didn't spend enough money on streamer. Hi, Jelly, how are you? I'm good, I'm reading this because I'd never read it before. I didn't even know this website existed. This Half-Life2.com, Half that's crazy. Uh, the right man at the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Yeah, the titular quote from, from, uh, from Alex Vance, yeah. Um, I know Half-Life. Uh, Half-Life features, Half-Life 2 features a thrilling, thrilling campaign packed with unprecedented levels of immersion, well-building, brandy, Greetings, brother. pushing physics, and exhilarating combat. Experience the landmark first-person shooter that forged the gaming framework for the next generation of games. Yes. And then every single game took the wrong ideas from it and then ran with them. What's particularly impressive about the game running so well is that it does so without compromising any part of the gameplay or design. Are we still keeping this quote? In 2020? I don't think anybody's having problems running Half-Life in 2020. In fact, I'm pretty sure my my mum's iPad can run Half-Life. Why is Nightbot just fucking going ham with the Discord? Why doesn't Jelly acknowledge Hunt Down the Freeman or Entropy Zero as canon entries in the Half-Life universe because they're not? Environments... Uh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, Hunt Down the Freeman, maybe. Maybe. I think Mitchell might come back. Everybody loved Mitchell. I think they should bring him back. Fuck Shepard. Mitchell should definitely come back. Environments are complex, colorful... <laughs> I wouldn't say colorful. I would say this was like the beginning of everything is gray and green and really and gritty and realistic looking. Um, highly detailed AI is certainly impressive. That's just straight up not true. IGN's been shit forever, hasn't it? Uh, although the the AI pathing is pretty decent. This, this is a game you have to buy. Don't finish reading this review. Just run out and go get it now. This dystopian dystopia is beautifully realized with. Expressive eyes and emotive faces. Yeah. You compare, you compare this to like Halo that came out like, what, like two years earlier? A year earlier? When did Halo come out? Oh! No, oh, wow, okay. Halo was really early, huh? Halo was really early. That's three whole years. Almost to the date. That's nuts. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm no longer talking shit about Halo. I, I'm actually very impressed by Halo now. I understand why Halo... That actually really puts it into context why Halo was so loved. I thought Halo was like 2004. Um, express vibes, my faces. These people look far more real than... Those in any other game. You're correct about that. They, they, it was a very good looking game. Although apparently the face rigging was just nightmarish to use. Alex is wearing some like properly lifting shoes. Like those are adding like an inch and a half to her height. Never noticed that. Maybe, maybe I'm just not enough of a feet guy. But I've never looked at Alex's shoes much. First time you see ribbed. First time you see ribbed glasses blurring the ominous shape of a soldier on the other side. Ribbed glass, not glass says. Sorry, I instantly went. Yeah, ribbed glass blurring the ominous shape of a soldier on the other side. Or any time that you happen to be moving through water, you will see next generation visuals implemented in a casual, capable manner. really hard i can i can i can kind of i i can hmm, i wouldn't call this the best shooter <laughs> i'd call it a really good game i wouldn't call half-life 2 the best shooter shooting's actually the worst part of half-life 2 game of the decade
it is probably the, the defining game of the decade, actually, now that I think about it. Although, you could say Half-Life 1 was the defining game of the five years preceding it. Like, the, the game of half the decade. PC Gamer called Half-Life 2 the greatest game of all time. Well, PC Gamer is full of shit. <laughs> when System Shock's right there. Um, and Dark Souls is right there. And they're... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think even Half-Life 1's right there. Game of half the decade. Yeah, Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, I think, occupy those two sections where they just redefined gaming for the time that they are in. Still say Halo 3 is the best game ever made. If you're playing it on a console, you're playing it on a console, playing it on a fucking computer, it's fucking boring as shit. Fire your gun, it goes, duh, 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 duh. it doesn't move. There's no recoil. There's nothing to do. You just point in the direction and click. Has the same problem as Half Life 2. 2004 was 30 years ago. Hmm. I think your maths is a bit off there. You're right, it was at least three. Wait, did Doom 3 come out in 2004? Yeah, Doom 3, the game that looks like everything's made out of silly putty. Thank you, Butt Gravy, for the tier one sub. Thank you very much for that, Butt. Butt Gravy 69. Well, look at you. Look at you with your funny video game name. Well, not really a video game name. Online name. That's funny. I would, I would unironically have selected that as my name if I'd thought of it back in the day. Although, I... Mm. I feel like that's worse than Jolly Wanker. Jolly Wanker puts uh, certain images in your head, but being hosted or being like, oh yeah, my friend Butt Gravy, like, that's always a bad image. Cannot find the third part of Doom 3. Oh. Well, we'll have to fix that. I don't know. I don't know how I fucked that up. Your name still makes more sense. What do you mean? Butt Gravy 69. You fuck somebody in the ass until they poo and it's diarrhea and they shit all over your dick. At least that's what I, I took from that name. Oh, no. You, 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 actually, no, that's not it. You, you're eating somebody else and the, out and then they... Diarrhea on your face? I don't know. Butt Gravy 69. Butt Gravy. Diarrhea. 69. 69ing. Come on, guys. Keep up. Jolly, I was eating. We, yeah, you can still keep eating. Just don't think about shit all over your face. Uh, right. So, I fooled you all. I fooled you all. I don't even know what the fuck we're playing today. I, I literally just googled Half-Life and that's how we ended up on that website. Um, play Unreal. I am, I am, I'm finishing Unreal on Wednesday. I'm also trying to fix my fucking sleep schedule because the love of fucking God, I just, I'm like, I'm going to go to bed early tonight. And then I look at the clock. I'm like, it's 11 PM. Where did time go? How did time disappear? Um, go mod, sandbox modification. Yeah, no. Uh, what are we going to play? What are we going to play? Resident Evil Cold Blood? I mean, it's relevant. I mean, we can give it a shot. Resident Evil Cold Blood Beta? Sure. Sure. Oh, setup.exe, but it's from 2000. <laughs> the good thing about really old exe files is if they are a virus, undoubtedly they will be picked up. Play Under Hell. I played Under Hell again, and I didn't really feel like there was much I could do with it. I, 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 I might give Under Hell a third try. I only played the first bit of it. You ever played the weird Blue Shift sequels? Operation Rosenberg? Hell yeah, I did. See if you can load Half-Life Echoes in an mod. No, that doesn't work like that. They have to be bespoke made, from what I understand. Greetings, brother. For, like, for the thing. Oh, hey, thank you, Buck Gravy. Thank you for gifting a sub to Reconnecting XR. Oh, shit, and thank you, Rap the Mocha, for, for the one year. One year of supporting the funny Half-Life and sometimes other stuff. Yeah, David Tennant knockoff. Here and die. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that any day of the week. Lots of lots of lots of hot babes are in the David Tennant. I'll take that. Play DNF 2001 Restoration demo. I'd rather play the 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 whole thing if they're making it. Although there is a Duke Nukem Forever overhaul that's being made as well. Go meet Otis in Black Mesa. Can you meet me here? Can we go somewhere else other than Black Mesa? We ever play the sequel to the squirrel hunting game? Uh, th th there is no sequel. There's just another game made by David. I mean, I played Dusk, which is effectively the prequel. Wednesday is my birthday. Happy birthday, Derpy. Okay, it's, uh, 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 sorry, it's Tuesday for Americans, Wednesday for Australians. Let's make that clear. Um, thank you very much. It's not really a sequel. It's just another game made by him where you're in a, you're in a submarine. Duke Nukem Forever Overhaul. Seriously, that IP just needs to die. It's a mod. It's a mod to make the game less shit. Well, I guess not much less shit because you can still hold shit and draw stuff with it. Hey, Jolly, me again. I just want to let you know. I'm going to call this... I'm doing this thing called Man Day. Guns, explosives, demo, debris, barbecue, honey buns, and as much Dr. Pepper as you can drink for a whole day. No meme dono this time. That sounds like... A surefire way to give yourself some mad gastrointestinal issues. But it'll also be a lot of fun. I feel, I feel like I can hear your stomach screaming from here. As, as it just goes, VEGETABLES! GIVE ME VEGETABLES! NUTRIENTS! I DON'T NEED MORE MEAT! There's so much gas! Uh, but I hope you enjoy it. Z X X Y Y. Um, thank you very much, uh, no bueno for the prime for nineteen months. IGN only the best games journalism. Yeah, I've heard. I mean, that the, 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 they're the only games journalist that tells it like it is. Every every game is great and deserves a nine out of ten. There there is no room for criticism in current day. Everything is great, and if it isn't great, shut up and let people enjoy things. Well, I just, I just don't really like it. You know, it's just, I just, I, I personally don't like it. Who gives this shit? I do. Play Pizza Tower, not personally my thing. Wanna try Iron Fury? Yes, I do. Uh, this has just turned into a podcast with me. I'm sorry, I promise I will start streaming in a second. Thank you, Confraid, for the tier one for 17 months. Almost a year. Oh, 23 months. Yeah. Sick. Thank you very much, Confraid. It feels like you've been here for longer. Thank you, Annoyed Gamer, for gifting a sub to Head Rocks Trash. Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you for gifting him for 18 months, dude. Thank you, Arctic Druid, for the, for the 12. Feels, dang, it's been a year. It doesn't feel like it. We've, I've, it doesn't feel like I've been subbed that long. Yeah, time is convoluted nowadays. We, we, we are truly in the Dark Souls. What about an actual hunting simulator? See what you do compared to hunting squirrels. Hunt a coal for the wild. Yeah, I'm not against that. Oh, hey. Hey, Jules. Oh my god, I almost fell asleep. But then, shut up and let people enjoy things. Very sorry. I'll try to scream less. You ever played I Want to Be the Guy? No, but I imagine it's similar to, to Hazardous Course. Logistic? That's logistic. I've definitely Try played not to logistic dwell on before, it. right? No. Game. Game. Logistic. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they fixed this. Nope. Recent reviews mixed. Yeah. Uh, I played this. It was uh, terrible, and the ending was especially bad. <laughs> Uh, maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they'll fix it. Who knows? Uh, Spec Ops Line is great. I, I did a review on that for, for my high school, and I got an A+. Uh, most of my review was just ripped from Yahtzee's review of Spec Ops The Line, but I spoke it slower, so it took up seven minutes instead of four minutes, and used my own footage. I did reword it a bit. Um... 
Thank you very much, Senor Cluckins, for the Prime for 23 months. They put more effort into this site than the TF2 servers. Oh, shut up about TF2. Come on now. They haven't delisted it yet. It's not dead. It's just a corpse in the corner. The nobody's... It's, it's the family dog that nobody's put food out for for the last four to five years. And is well and truly dead. But they just don't want to admit it's dead yet. They just sort of pretend it's sleeping. Shelly hates TF2. I love TF2. But it's... I, I don't love it as much as I, as I love shitting all over TF2. One of these guys just Dark Souls the platform. Yeah, but also it's hazardous, of course. Iron Lung? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did made another game called Shop Goblins? Oh. Well, I gotta play this. When did he release this? Why did nobody talk about this? Shop Goblins. Micro shooter designed to be completed in a single sitting without sacrificing deck variety or creativity in its gameplay. Okay, I need to play that. I really need to play that. All right. Thank you, um, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, no bueno, 99 for the prime for 19 months. I already thanked you. Whatever. I know gamer. Thank you for gifting us up to Julie S. Traitor. Jul, Julia's, Julie's, Julie's Traitor. I don't know how to say it. Well, that's good. People mentioned Chop Goblins like 23 times when you were streaming Dusk. 23 times out of like 10,000 messages? Come on. You expect me to read? I just clicked on an EXE. It's always scary when you click on an EXE. Oh, where is my Half-Life folder? Okay, this is one of those things. I, I don't... Why do Half-Life mods even need EXEs? The, the simple solution is to just give me the files so I can just instantly slam them on in the folder, but no, instead you make me extract. Thanks for the gift and stuff. Yeah, hey, thank you, Annoyed. Thank you very much. And thank you, thank you for the $3 ZXXYY. Uh, reminder to play Prey. Yeah, 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 I need to. I've got a lot of things I need to play. Thank you for the Prime for 32 months. I want to, I want to get that next video out first. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see what the <laughs> guys were playing Resident Evil. Since when has, when you shut down Steam, has a big window saying shutting down Steam, exit now popped up? I imagine when back when Half-Life used one and not Steam, the mods didn't use their own EXEs. But, but, but... There's an evil cold-blooded 2 beta. I don't know where this is even going to run. It, ooh! Ooh, it works! I think. Hopefully. Let me check. It's a goddamn multiplayer mod! I've done this before! There's another one that I. But. But. You. Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah, cold blood. Let's play together. No, I have to start up a server, and most of you live in America. Uh, it's it's Resident Evil Cold Blooded. Which I, I'm blown away that it's right up here. It's one of the most popular mods. First person shooter multiplayer. But but I can't play it because I need I need friends. Okay. Um The Specialist. Okay, can't play this either. It's multiplayer. Unless this is a single player nope, multiplayer only. Arrangement. Ooh. Well this one a lot of stuff.
Oh, I'm very sorry, everyone. Chop, chop some goblins. Do you guys want me to do that? I can do that. Oh, wow. Okay. How interesting. I guess we're never playing that. That's never coming out. Look at this. This shit won a bunch of awards and yet technically doesn't exist. I wonder if this guy ever made, I wonder if, I wonder if he ever made this or whether he's gone on to work on other things. Like, this, this had a lot of effort put into it. Had even skins and shit. I don't understand. Featuring realistic, this seems way too ambitious, but apparently it existed? A humble, far from perfect vision version that stripped Half-Life content, but had most features the project needed. Ooh, 2.8 gigabytes. Yeah, this is just gonna be this is just gonna be a test. Shit. Whatever. Whatever. Give me a second. We're 36 minutes in, and I'm still not sure what we're gonna play. Uh trusty crowbar. Uh it's just it's just the texture pack. I'm lost as to what to play. Civ V, not a chance in hell. <laughs> Bleach. <laughs> what? Okay. Yes. Well, welcome to the mid two thousands. Um. This reminds me so, so much of, of Warcraft 3 mods. Bro, do it right now. Bro, it's, it's, it's a multiplayer. It's a multiplayer only mod, unfortunately. Jelly, what's your stance on ketchup? It's inferior to tomato sauce to such a degree, I hate it. That reminds me so much of Warcraft 3 mods. Oh. oh, I need to play this at some point. Players? Single player? Is sing is I thought Scientist Slaughterhouse was a multiplayer mod. I thought this was a multiplayer mod. Is this single player? Sorry, I looked at this and went, Jesus Christ. Somebody needs to learn that the outline tool is important and that you should always put a stroke on all of your text so it is more legible. Both. It's both. Let's give it a shot, I guess. At least in 2002. Holy shit. How's your keyboard doing right now? Uh, the D key has started working again, which is nice. Ah, oh, download the wrong one. Okay, let's see if this works. Probably not. Build intensity makes sense. Black guard, never played it. Um, I'm sorry. I did really, I did think we were going to play Resident Evil today. Um, that's completely on me. That is entirely on me. Fuck it. If this doesn't work, we're gonna play. We're gonna play that that new David Simon scam Zingments. Do you know what make and model keyboard you have yet, Jolly? Uh, I have an Echo three thousand one hundred and eight.
I found it, I figured it out. It was on the bottom of the keyboard. Um, I'll, I'll blast through it tomorrow. I'll blast through it on, on Thursday. Mr. Alex, I'll, I'll finish off. Unreal. Where's Half-Life? All right, let's give this a shot. So why is this a single player mod? I thought it was a multiplayer mod. Hold on. And also let's bring up, what was it? Chop Goblin. Fuck, we're just gonna play Chop Goblin. Game of the game of the year edition? What? Game of the week edition. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck it. Here we go. Chop goblins. The um from the uh, Greetings, oh, brother. Squirrel. State. Blah. Game of the week edition. Shop. Fuck. And I've really been lacking energy recently. The stupid fucking seasonal depression sucks dick. Everything gets cold and then you stop functioning as good. Let's go. Let's go. It's eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Purchased for myself. Hell yeah. Chop god blends. Can't believe I have to pay money for this. I had to pay money for screw stapler stick, technically. Lacking stamina. Yeah. Not even stamina. I can go for a long time. It's just not particularly en enthusiastic. Isn't it a tax write-off? Yes. Pretty much everything I do is a tax write-off. I must wear every single piece of clothing I own at some point on stream so that it is a tax write-off. I've had this conversation. <laughs> Whereas, if I started putting on makeup, uh, if, if I did like a, a glow-up stream, makeup isn't counted. Makeup isn't counted. But clothes are. Clothes are technically a tax write-off, so this this is a tax write-off. Everything's a tax write-off. Jelly, you're saying lots of things that could easily be misconstrued. Isn't that kind of my thing? Hey, Dark Leader for the Prime for 18 months. Let's go, chop goblins. My math is right. You still have about six hours left in Unreal. Eh, that's like a stream. Come on. We all know six hours actually equals out to like three hours for me because I'm just that good at video games. Hmm. This might take a second. The game is uh, 36 megabytes, which isn't isn't gonna isn't gonna be quick to download. Oh wait, hold on, it's already downloaded. Downloaded two minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's 522 megabytes. Still, do you know? And now we're downloading the soundtrack. Uh, all right, let's go. Yeah, no, apparently, uh, uh, oh, have you ever thought about doing a stream announcement video on YouTube so your YouTube viewers can know about them? Annoyed, I used to do that a lot, but uh, then YouTube uh, gave me a strike on my channel because you're not allowed to do that. I might stream on YouTube at some point. Uh, I still want to do that. I just want to get my next video out and then I'll be doing Half-Life 2 VR. Jelly, why are you a bison? Because they're... Big and manly looking, and I, my first soon has got to be big and manly looking, right? Because I'm big and manly. Uh, I'm just going to grab my water bottle, because I don't have it on me. What? I see people doing that all the time. Yeah, it's, it's technically not allowed. Um, let's go. In a second. Sorry about the 44 minutes worth of stream intro. I very much apologize for that. Technical difficulties. I'm not as thin as a cinnamon stick. I'm very manly.
I'm sorry, I got distracted by some fucking crazy person calling Morgoth from Elden Ring hot. Um, that is a, a baffling uh, attraction, and I don't understand people. Thank you, uh, thank you everybody for supporting me. We are now ending stream. No, just kidding. Chop Goblin, here we go. Chop Goblins. Multiple, oh, I am not the Chop Goblin. I am shopping goblins. Claims to be manly, but drinks water. Yeah. Oh. If that if that ruins things for you, I also I also enjoy fucking women, which I know is just the most feminine thing you'd possibly do. Um. <laughs> uh. This is Chop Goblins. By Dave, I can't pronounce his last name, but the guy who made Screw a Stapler and Dusk, you know, that incredibly successful boomer shooter that was kind of one of the ones that kicked off the boomer shooter craze, but most importantly, Screw a Stapler, that meme game he made in like two days um, that I've played and now everybody fucking loves. <laughs> that was Goblin. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna leave all of these on and- Wait, hold on. Hold on. This guy knows what's up. Why is the vertical FOE 65 by default? Did I say FOE? FOV. I got the soundtrack for this along with the game itself, which is nice. I should be able to use it at some point. I, I, maybe I'm supposed to have this in a low FOV for like the, the CRT effect to work better, but I don't know. Kids mode? Like how far does this go? 120? Yes, no. Oh, on. We're not doing kids mode. We're not doing kids mode. You guys are dancing to this. This is not dancing music. This is like a skeleton stalking up the street music. 120, coward. No. No. I like my eyes and I wish for them to function. And actually be able to see where I'm going and not just be like constantly looking at warp speed as the world mangles itself at the sides of my vision. Alright, let's go. I don't know what this is. Genuinely don't. Kind of loud, Jolly. Yeah, it's the music. Let me just turn it down a bit. There we go. Chop Goblins. It's a game. We're gonna play it. Oh. I thought that would... I didn't think that'd be a level. The, the difficulty select. Uh, select difficulty. Sightseeing. Explore levels with no enemies or UI. That is... Strange. Imp, you're new to PC shooters or just want a chill experience? Nothing chill about me. Hot-blooded fiend. The intended balance for the pl first playthrough. Goblin, you've played this game before. I haven't, but, uh, fuck it, Goblin. I played the hardest difficulty on our David's other games, and that wasn't a difficulty. Burn my fucking ears. What, you didn't like... The whole time that I was sitting there trying to have a... Conversation with you guys. Come on. Uh, the year is 1984. Oh, wow. Going a long way back. Fuck. Like when my grandma was alive. I mean, he's still alive now, but he was also alive back then. Damn. Um, on a whim, one evening, you decide to break into the local museum's basement and see what sort of treasures it might hold. Okay. Okay, we're a bit of a delinquent, huh? I guess it is 1984, what do you got to do? The, the only video games you can play are like Pong, and once the arcade is closed, you got fuck all to do except for bike around and, you know, break and enter. I understand. If it wasn't for video games, I would also be a criminal. Uh, one dusty wooden chest catches your eye. You open it, 
a mob of strange creatures leaps out. Kill them. Okay. Uh, this particular chest was secretly a prison for the malevolent shop goblins. Lured inside by the promise of delicious cheese and trapped for untold eons. I would probably get myself stuck in a chest for cheese as well. They're now loose to wreak havoc on the world once more. You know what must be done. Grabbing an antique dagger from a pile of dusty artifacts, you give chase. Okay. Kill them. That's a solid, solid plan right there. I guess this is kind of my fuck up. Owning up to my mistakes, because it's 1984 and the internet isn't around yet. So I, I don't yet have a, you know, healthy amount of deflection for everything I do, because it's not my fault. It's not, look, it's not, I'm sorry. I'm so, it's not my, I look, it's not, I, everybody else around me is the problem and not me, because I am perfect. I don't know why I'm doing this today. I, I feel like... I feel like I've got a lot of anger and hatred over current internet affairs. Anyways, um, antique, uh, an antique dagger you grabbed from a nearby crate. Not the best weapon, but it's better than nothing. And a skilled wielder might be able to deflect thrown projectiles with it. You can also do a quick dagger attack anytime, regardless of what weapon you have, by pressing the use button. Neat. Whoa, whoa, straight away, straight away, and I've already murdered a goblin. Well, off to a good start. One down, however many more to go, and just some coins, and oh god. Okay. And another one down. I think I got dynamite as well. Right, yes. We're doing good. We're doing great. Oh, shit, another one. Wow, I'm... Really good at shanking a bitch. Uh, radio. We, 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 we're here, and we're slicing goblins. We're more shanking goblins. Although I guess they're goblins that chop people. That's that's what's going on here. Whoa! <laughs> wow, rigor mortar sets in quick with these guys, huh? Stiff as a board within seconds. So man, I am good at this shanking business. Okay. Yoink, found a shop coin. Okay. Needs to be exchanged for goods and services. Uh, right. Oh, wet floor. Watch out. Don't slip. Oh. Hello. Wait, this is 1984. Did they really have caution wet signs back then? Feel like, I feel like those are a new day, new, new age woke invention. These kids can't fall over and learn. Whoop! Shit. What the fuck? Learn how to deal with a fall. Oh god. He's green. That makes him more dangerous, I think. Kids can't learn about, about falling over in the school of hard knocks. These stupid signs around. Back in my day, they did exist, because I am I am one of these new age woke kids, but no. For me. Oh. Ooh. It works. Wait, how much money do I have? I have $1,455? And apparently I can't get in there. Oh, or alternatively, that's my score? Did I just... A flintlock pistol. Okay. If I have... this, Surely I, I do have that much money. Okay. Really? Uh, how do I change weapons? Oh, I just... Dual wield. Right. Neat. I like it. Fuck, that's like enough to buy a house back in this time. Buy like a... a nice little... A nice little cozy apartment for myself. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, I reload this musket. Fucking quickly. This... I swear to god, this should be like a half a minute operation, but nope. Give me a second and it's ready to fire again. 
There are points for a leaderboard. Oh, okay, like screw a stapler. <laughs> I like the avenge me. Apparently I can, I can dodge, I can, I can like deflect those back up. Oh! Perhaps it wasn't the best idea to practice parrying when I was on no health whatsoever. Hold on, before we continue. Right, let's try this again. But I'm turning down my sensitivity because it's way too fucking high. What is kids mode? What is kids mode? Let's have a look at this. Let's try this out quickly. What does this do? I don't know. I have no idea. Does it just change the color of the blood? I'm not sure. It still doesn't seem particularly kid friendly. I'm still stabbing goblins with a knife. I think so. Well, that's fine with me. Green, green blood kind of is fine. Oh, hey guys. Always go for the head. Yeah, big stupid heads. Okay. Alright, so what was I saying before? Oh yeah, money. It's great, this is the old days. Whoop, whoop, whoa, 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 hey. So, wait, hold on. Oh, yes. Oh, ow. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I got an achievement for that called Die by the Sword. Totally not worth the effort, but still, that was sick. Fucking owned. Oh, shit, that was a waste. Oh, what am I doing? Stab him. Now, I definitely can't jump, which is a problem. I've really, I've really owned up to my mistakes here, haven't I? This is... Interesting. I'm, I'm just... Solving the problem that I created. How, how novel. How novel of an idea in this day and age. <laughs> wow, now it's starting to sound like a boomer. I was pretending to be a boomer before, but now apparently I'm just becoming one. What is this? Responsibility? Yeah. I w woke up the goblins by being a fuckwit, and then... Ooh. Ooh. And then decided, you know what? I, I should probably deal with this problem. So I'm gonna loot myself a flintlock pistol and a knife and just go around shanking the bastards. That's how all the 80s movies did it. The kid protagonist caused the mess and then fixes it. You're right. You're right. A little, little, little bit of head action there. Um, not always, not always by choice, but more like, oh, the parents don't believe me. They don't believe me. This terror will destroy the world! And it's like, no, the US government will probably deal with it once it becomes big enough of an issue. But you are right, small child, that if you don't try and stop it now, a lot of people will unnecessarily die. Like, there's not a lot of nuke can't solve, but you can probably save a lot of unnecessary bloodshed if you do, you know, fix this yourself with your little gang of friends on your bikes. The older brother that at first doesn't believe you, but then you convince by showing him what's going on. And he helps you out. And he's like super rad. Super cool. He's like, ugh, oh, these kids. Oh, thinking goblins are real. What the fuck's wrong with them? Fucking lamos, nerds. And super gay. Uh, this is an 80s movie. Nobody's gay. Back in the 80s, when gayness wasn't a thing. <laughs> By the way, I think this game has zero checkpoints. Well, luckily I'm... ...on 100% health, so I probably won't be dying here. I didn't kill myself, but I did hurt myself. And... ...it's 
probably a sign of things to come. I probably will end up back at stage one at some point. Also, this is this is hard. Strange. It's only it's locked. Okay, there's got to be a key around here somewhere. The lack of crouch or jump is kind of liberating in a way. That kind of makes me think that it's going to be easy to find the secrets in this. It's just a matter of looking. Just have to use my eyes. I really like this. I want more bite-sized games like this. I really, really do. Give, give me more, give me more little like entrees of video games. Just a little. Mm, mm, that's really nice. And then I move on with my life. And then you do something slightly different, which is still pretty much the same entree. But the first entree was so Moorish. The second one, where you like bring out something else, and it's pretty much the same, but it's spiced kind of different. Like, you know, it's got some nutmeg on it or something. And you're like, hmm, this is also tasty and good. What's that? Ooh. Whoa. Fuck. Oh, wow, I have some serious range. Like, kind of insane amounts of range. I like it very much unlike most melee weapons in video games. Hey, hold on. Gotta be... Ooh. Yes. Okay. What? Is it one of these? That definitely opens. Something back here? No. Man, come on. Come on. One of these. No. Is there a use key? Yes, but it's it's just left mouse, it's right mouse button. I like my shank. I like it a lot. Those fucking lays? Whoa! Apparently they are. Oh. Oh, okay. I need to look harder. Uh, I should probably, I should probably scout this area more then. And just hit my use key on everything, which is also my stab key, so it just looks like I'm walking around blunting my knife. But I'm not. No? Mm. Come on. Chippies. What chippies? I can love chippies. They're great. Anything up there? Nope. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to find what I need to find. By the way, have any of you played Devil May Cry before? I started playing the fourth one in like my off time when I'm when I need a break from something. I'm enjoying it a lot. I know this this is another case of Jolly equating everything to Dark Souls, but it does remind me a lot of like Dark Souls with a far more in-depth combat system. Oh, it's the big sheep! It's those big fucking animals! It's like in the 1800s when people wanted to be like, yeah, my animals are the best. And they just draw these fucking unrealistic square animals and be like, yeah, this is my animal. Yeah, this is, this is real. This is a real thing. This is how it actually looks. So everybody would be like, damn. Fucking, you got a big ass sheep, dude. It's basically Photoshop in the 18th century. Being like, yeah, my livestock is the best livestock. Yeah, that's an internet historian joke. Is it? That would make sense. I do watch the internet historian. Oop. Where's all the cheese? <laughs> Maybe back in the crate that you came out of. Go have another look. Oh, fuck. Okay, I do need to try and parry those more. David's really, really good at making gunplay feel good. But my sensitivity is still too high. I wish I could lower my sensitivity on the fly. Wait, hold on. I technically can. I just turned down my DPI. Turned down my DPI. This is a brilliant idea. Oh, he killed himself. Well, works for me. Chippies. Oops, didn't mean to fire into the floor. Oh boy, I need some ammo real bad. Okay. What's this? 
say that? Ask and I shall receive. I feel like I should be able to touch that. You can't pause? Yeah, I can, but it's exit to main menu and resume. Ooh, okay. Come on. Come on. Where, where, there's got to be like an employee key somewhere. I'm going to use every single one of these. Just because I want to. Every, uh, if I use every single, oh no! Oh, do like a confirm before you send me straight to the next level. The chop goblins have escaped the museum and are running amok on the streets of your city. Are we going to restart the whole game? No, I don't think we should. But we could. But we won't. But we could. But we shouldn't. We could, because it would take like two seconds to beat all of that again. Well, maybe I can go back. Maybe I can go back. Was that a level exit? Yeah, apparently it was. You will not. Okay. The Chop Goblins have escaped the museum and are running amok on the streets of your city. Bastards. Sounds of wanton destruction greet you as you exit the front door. Catch a glimpse of several Chop Goblins disappearing into an alley. With shock, you realize that they are carrying the crown jewels of the museum's collection. An ancient Ant the, an ancient Aztec time manipulation tablet? That precious artifact, they could wreak havoc on not just your city, but the world. Uh, not just the world, but on time itself. You know what you must do. Uh, uh, okay. I feel like we should have had that in some sort of safe or something. Or maybe given it to, like, you know, the government or... Or something. The Chop Gob land Goblin Das? The Chop Goblin Das are sort of like Smurf Bet. Except huge, angry, steeped in 1950 stereotypes, and there's way more than one of them. Okay, so nothing like Smurf Bet, gotcha. Why do they look so Thanos y? Somebody said Thanos Goblins, and they are Thanos Goblins. Got that weird, like. Exo skeleton teeth thing going on. Uh, Goblandas don't need cleavers to do damage. They attack with cutting words alone. Keep some cover handy. Flinch them if they start winding up. And whatever you do, don't insult insult their hairstyle. Okay. Thanos, -y. shut up. I'm not Ant Man. I'm not climbing up Thanos's asshole. Whoop. Okay, and now can I go back the way I came? God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! What the fuck? Seriously? Fuck you. Fuck you. Hang on. Fuck you. Oh no! Where are you starting? I'm, I'm, I want to see what's in there! I'm going to run through this whole level really quickly. I want to see what's in this. I am so pissed off that I have to do this, but I am doing it and you can't stop me and I am doing it. I'm fucking doing it. You can't stop me. I want to see what's in those rooms, man. I want to see what's in those fucking rooms. Fuck off. Okay, we did all of this. Grab these. What's in here? These guys? Absolutely no way I could like blast open the door from in here. No. Go. I'm doing it. Oh, he's climbing in Thanos' dick. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. The anus is a much easier target. A much easier target. Don't think Ant-Man's into urethral sounding. How did you get me onto this topic? I'm trying to be so careful about- Blowing up fire extinguishers, which is apparently something I can do. Um, about not talking about the horny, and you guys are just... Instant locking in on... Ant-Man climbing up Thanos' urethra. Like, come on, guys. Well, you know, one more time. <sighs> Forgot to turn off the kids mode. 
I'm sure it won't make any difference. Fuck. Turn off kids mode. Do you really want me to? Fine, fine, fine. I'll turn off kids mode. One more time. Look, look, now I can talk freely and I don't have to pay attention to the game. That's good, right? That's good. You get unfiltered jolly. Yeah, really, I really enjoyed. Really enjoyed DMC so far. It's one of those games that I've, I played a demo for DMC 1, bounced the fuck off of it as like a seven year old. I played a demo for DMC 4, bounced the fuck off of it. Um, but now as, as a grown adult, as a mature man, I can see Woohoo Wacky Pizza Man is, is very fun to, to play around with, even if I'm not actually playing as him, I'm playing as Nero. But still, it's a lot of fun. Did you wake up to justice? Ah, I started with four, because four was the one I had in my in my game library. But just I, I really like it. There's a lot of skill involved. You play on the hardest difficulty and it's like, it's like the Dark Souls. It takes effort and skill and you get to run around and stab people and feel stylish. Which I really like. Makes, makes, makes fun. Do you know DMC1 started development as RE4? Shit's crazy. Yeah! Well, I've, I watched somebody else play a, a DMC one, two, and part of three so far. Um, and just the the crazy shit that like DMC two was made in four months. Four months? Could you imagine making what effectively is a triple A game in four months? I mean, the game's shit because it was made in four months, but still, making a game in four months. Like, I guess Half-Life was remade in a year, but still. That's still nutty. Fuck. Stab. Stab. Okay, is there anything I can interact with in here? Oops. Drink that. It's gotta be something, right? Gotta look up more. Gamers don't look up. Be, be unique. Be different. Look up more. Why do gamers not look up? It's a real... Why are we like pigs? Why are we like pigs? I don't understand. What is up with gamers and not looking in the upwards direction? Oh, quite... Okay. Okay, we're back pretty much to where we need to be. Fuck. Way earlier than you'd think you'd have to... Fuck, oh, really? Whatever. Get that counter eventually, oh god. Turn down my sensitivity. Fuck. Fuck you. Alright, we're good. We're back here. Now, there was that secret here that I missed. Or I already missed the secret, I don't remember. Fuck. Oh, fuck, I deserve that. All the cheese. Hello, nice, to <laughs> nice to meet you too. Well, I think I just murdered the one friendly chop goblin. <laughs> he just wanted to be my friend. He could have been my option. Oh, could have been my little like. Uh, what the fuck's the one that's friendly? Mowgli? Moglin? Mowgwin? Which one's the friendly goblin? Forgotten. A nice little goblin. Yeah, it's got manners. Okay. Alright. Uh, was there not a button down here somewhere? Ah, oh, fuck. I'm not gonna find any of the secrets. We're gonna end up in the exact same spot as we were last time, aren't we? We, we haven't found any of the secrets, and we're just walking around, mashing knife on everything, hoping for the best. Nothing? Nope. Gizmo, the Mogwai from Gremlins? Yeah. Like the friend, the friendly, the friendly one. 
Gremlins. Did I not say Gremlins? What did I say? I wanted to treat you to dinner before chopping you up. That's nice. A very serial killer of him. You know what? You can talk a lot of shit about serial killers, but some of them, some of them would wine and dine you before murdering you horribly, and I feel like like that's nice. They'd make you feel special before cut, cutting you off in a little bit. Like, that's nice. Oh, man, this sensitivity is too low, and the other sensitivity is too high. It's a real problem. Alright, don't go through that door. Don't go through that door. Hello, oh, nice to meet you too. Hello, nice to meet you! I really like these guys. I don't know who did the voice acting for them, but I wish they had more lines. Okay, really? Fuck, fuck it, I'm turning the sensitivity back up. No, I'm not. I'm doing so badly. My sensitivity is so bad. It's like, either it's too slow or it's too fast. Oh, I'm not dead. Give me all of this. That's really important. Can't get in there yet, but I'll, I'll figure out a way in. Give me all of this. If I died here, I would, I would be very mad. All right. Extra coin, found a big coin. Nice. Shop coin. Okay, are these are these cryptocurrencies? Because if they are, I I'm suddenly no longer enthused. Gonna be able to use these on the goblin exchange or some shit. Um, right. There's gotta be. There's gotta be. Does anybody have like a walkthrough up? Can anybody help me out here? I've forgotten where that other secret I found was even. Um. Yeah. Come on, come on. What are the secrets? You can see that that's a secret right there. You can quite clearly see that's a fucking secret. All the way back. Really? Am I gonna find like the employees only key somewhere? There was, it was one, one of them down here. One of them was like just down here. It's like on the back of one of these pillars. From Pyro Cynical playing this. Okay, okay interesting. Um, wouldn't think there'd be too much overlap between him and me, but apparently, if I do, if you watch him. Uh, I'm confused. God, you move quickly. It's gotta be buttons. It's gotta be buttons. It's chippies, but I need buttons. This, this is too far back. This is surely too far back. Wait, no, no, no. This is where I could get outside, right? Yeah, this. Which is useful, but... Not the most useful. One more to go? Okay. Uh, alright, there are some there are some secrets here. This is worth it. This is all worth it now, right? Oh, that's, that's goblin head. <gasps> oh. Sequence complete! Hell yeah! Oh! Oh, and now it's and now it's that the 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 uh weird um Smurfina. Oh, that actually just screams at me. Really? Wow, okay. Well, found a big coin and a street sweeper shotgun. <laughs> well, that's a bit of an upgrade. A little bit of an upgrade. You know. couple of years of technological advancement between my flint action pistol and my shotgun. Hey buddy. 
Bye, buddy. Tommy gun. Old painless. No, not quite. No, no, no. This is, this is that shotgun with a gazillion rounds. Like, inside it. Before. Oh, this is where we were before! Okay, well, this is definitely... This was definitely worth it. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Probably wasn't good for the viewership, but... We got this now. Neat. That probably did not unlock the employees only doors. There's probably more secrets that I need to find. That shotgun is funny IRL. You have to wind it up like a clock each shell. <laughs> Aren't most video game shotguns, aren't most shotguns that make it into video games just fucking trash? Like, all of the coolest looking, like, shotguns and guns are usually just garbage. Just hot garbage. Like, the jackhammer, that gun that was in all those 80s movies, that's just trash. This, nope, still locked. Where would the employees key be? Unfinished prototype. Yeah, but still. Looks really cool. Therefore, it's going to be included in everything. Only one exists. Aren't there like technically three ish? Mm, this is a waste of time. Let's keep moving. Let's just go to the next level. I got some of the secrets. I like the change weapon animation. Sort of quality you just don't get in modern day video games. Someone said something about shooting a map? Map. A map. Shooting a map. There are no pedophiles around here. <laughs> um. Where? There, there are no maps. Let's have one last check and then we'll be off. Air back, opening a video to help John. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to get in there, really. Minus two. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That was mildly amusing. One last check and then we're off. Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to go. Ah, yes. Interesting game. And Victorian circus music? It's like... It's like neat arcade music. Come on now. Alright, I'm just gonna head out, I reckon. Unless Ultraviolet or somebody can... Shoot to the door? Really? No. No, that's not the solution. I'm just gonna move on. I'm just gonna move on. This is not worth wasting the time for. No, the other door. The secret door. Oh! Alright, let's do that and then we're off. Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. Ah, fuck it, let's go. Waste ammo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just keep moving. This is, a uh, this is stream poison. Fuck it. Chop goblins have escaped the museum are running amok on the streets of your city. Sound of wanton destruction greets you at the exit of the doors. Uh, catching a glimpse of several chop goblins disappearing into an alley with a shock realization. There's one right at the beginning of the game. A trash can. Well, um, it's 
destroy a trash can. I'm not doing it again. We'll just go on to the next one and we'll find the secrets here. You know what you must do? Kill them all. Kill them all, Peter. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, they chopped down the building. <laughs> Ah, shit. I was wish I was looking in the right direction there. You sure that was chopping? I feel like that may have been high explosives, but... You know. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe, maybe explosive axes. Who knows? Okay. Oop. Oh, I didn't even get to see that because it was around a corner. Whoop. Stupid self-preservation skills. You cannot hit me over that. Come on. Sure, I could technically see the insult, but that's bullshit. Oh, and the sweet street sweeper is right here. Well, this is... I really don't need to find any of these secrets, do I? It's just something in my brain that really wants me to find secrets. Get Fox. Fucking owned this. There's all the cheese. I don't know. Now, and then that one goblin hits me. Um, hold on. There we go. Alright, cars explode. This is good. I can use this to my advantage. Imagine if cars could explode in real life. We were just driving around in these, like, 2,000 pound death machines that could blow up. That'd be so scary. I'm glad they can't. This game on the gold source engine. No, no. Um, it is. It is. Sorry, Peg. On a. Uh, I think it's on Unity. Oh, it's locked. But quite clearly, we can get in there. Um, somehow. Well, nobody on the other end of that phone. Um. How do I get in there? Can you help me out here? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck off. Uh, hmm. Tried Ashes? 2063. No, I have not. Hmm. How would I get in there? Oh boy. Hey, dude. Um, still no, no more sure how to get in there. Oh, hey buddy. Where are you? Where are you at? Where, what? What? No, you. Hi. Hello, can I get some health kit MREs? I don't think health kits are MREs. They're probably just high, it's probably just morphine satchels, right? I imagine they're morphine shot satchels. I'm pretty sure most video game protagonists are powered by drugs. Ow, really? Ow, really? Stupid chop goblins and the choppy axes. Taste my blade. Wait, hold on, that's a reference, isn't it? Wait, taste my blade, isn't that a reference to Warcraft 3? Possibly not, but it's what the Blade Master says. But he says it more. Taste of my blade! I love Warcraft 3. Rest in peace, Warcraft 3. You, you were the best. You were the best, man. So many hours of entertainment from a single game. Probably? Maybe not. Who knows? Ooh, ooh, look at that lens flare right there. Cine fucking matic Dragon Ball reference? Why would it be a Dragon Ball reference? Why would I be able to do this? What, what, what possible reason could I have for being able to get out here? Wow, this music's kind of discordant right here, isn't it? 
sounds like the synth player is just sort of doing his own thing. Commander Conquered Generals was better and doesn't have piss poor balancing. Okay, did it also have an extremely active online community that built hundreds, if not thousands, of quality game modes that you could play at any given point in time? Did it have Footman Frenzy? Did it have Dota? Did it have, um, like, the 17 different DBZ games? Did it have fucking a million different uh, tower defense games that were all pretty great? No, no it didn't. Checkmate. End of story. The difficulty there is I can't jump. All these things that should be easy and simple to get to, I can't- Ooh, found a key! For what? Probably that. Where is he throwing these from? Oh my god, dude. Fuck off. Fuck off. Just fucking nailed him. Surprisingly accurate flintlock pistol. I don't think this is how this should work, but... I'm fine with it. saying armor is a great game because of the mods that fostered. No, it was also just a great game in general. I, I, I genuinely love Warcraft 3. Even without mods. It's still a fun place in my memory. Because it's not, it's not a Skyrim situation. It's not a, wow, this game's garbage, but the mods that it has are actually really, really good. It's like, no, this game's really good, and then the mods that have been built off of it are fucking toppers. Right. Um, guess we'll just continue onwards. I don't know what I use the key for. Oh, yeah, I use the key for that, don't I? I've already, I've already found the key. That. So basically, I just want to be fucking up every single trash can I see, and everything else. Use my shotgun more, probably. Oh. It's really surprising that my flintlock pistol has any use at this point. <laughs> it hasn't been completely usurped by my, um, you know, modern day shotgun. <laughs> With my dying breath, I say, Where's all the cheese? That's how I'd like to go out. Play CNC Generals, Jolly. Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody would watch me play that, is the problem. Isn't it Com Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 that has like the striptease scene at the end? I think some people might watch me play that. I feel like I have enough coombs in my audience that would stick around just for that. It's the Mud Blade. Would make sense that, yeah, this would probably be a reference to the Blade Master in Warcraft 3, because these guys are also, like, orcish looking. Whoa. Oh, hey. Whoa, oh my god, you're just staying on that car. I thought they were going to get out. <laughs> Whee! Vroom, vroom, vroom. Quality voice acting. <laughs> there somehow. I could launch myself off this car, but I'm pretty sure I would die and I can't quick load or quick save. So, not doing that. Um, how else would I, how else would I do this? I don't remember a car full of goblins in Warcraft 3. I mean, technically there's a zeppelin full of goblins. Um, fuck, how would I even... What, 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 how? How in the ever-loving fuck would I ever get up there? Oh, good night, Lucky. I'm sorry that I streamed so late. I will try and be streaming earlier in the future. I really, really am making a conceited effort. Even if that effort is failing horribly. This section of this song sounds like trash. I'm sorry. It is... I understand what they were going for, but it really does, does sound like... The, the 
one of the instruments is like a beat off. Concerted. Concerted, that's what I said. Not conceded. I didn't say conceded. Did I say conceded? I didn't mean to say conceded. How do I get up there? I'm gonna blow up all these cars just to be part of it. Maybe this will unlock some sort of secret. Whatever. Didn't unlock shit. Oh, but there's health over here that I didn't notice. Oh, I wanna get up there. I wanna get up there so bad. I want those goblin coins. I want them. They could be worth something someday. Everybody else buys into the grift. They could be worth a lot of money and then I could sell. Leave all those other losers to their shitty fucking goblin coins. It's kind of funny how Bitcoin has just kind of died, huh? <laughs> it was the big hot shit for like five minutes along with Greetings, NFTs, brother. and now it's just fallen apart immediately. Like, it still exists, but God, is it nowhere near as big as it was. I don't, sometimes, I don't know if Jelly's saying the word wrong, or I'm just being racist against the Aussie accent. A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. If anything, it's it's good that people being racist towards Aussies for once, instead of Aussies themselves being racist. Real problem over here. Um, no. Nope. Oh! Oh! Spe speaking of... This isn't racist, but it's one of those things. So, um, I went out to a cafe yesterday to get, get breakfast lunch. Which is like, I get a big breakfast, and then that's my breakfast and my lunch. And I've been watching House of Dragons, um, and, and somewhat enjoying it. And there was a dude in the cafe, I, with, with like, not only was he like six foot four, but he had like the House of Dragons, like dread knot thing going on. And, and he was just this huge black dude. And I could see, I could actively see half the people in the restaurant just looking at this dude. And I was like, mate, I, I don't think anybody here is being like, oh, look at this black guy in here. I think everybody was just like, man, that is fucking super cool. But you could see everybody, like there were multiple tables of people side-eyeing this dude for like the whole time he was there. And it was almost more entertaining to watch the people. Ooh. One more to go. Okay. Neat. That's much easier to see than most of those. To watch the people watching him than look at the really cool looking black dude. <laughs> like, you have no idea how rare it is for there to be just like an African just like walking around. Let alone one that's like super tall and has like a sick haircut. It was... He must have felt so awkward just sitting around. Or alternatively, he's used to it, because I imagine a lot of Australians would have the same reaction. In the stairway up high is the other one. I genuinely felt bad for the guy. Or it's like, you've just... You've cultivated a look, and in many other parts of the world, it would, it would like... It would be like, yeah, that dude looks cool, but here it's just like... Different! Look at him! Oh! Oh my god! Look at him! Look at that! Look! <laughs> it's like, no, that's... Yeah, that's... <laughs> um... But it was... Yeah. I, f I felt genuinely bad for the guy. It's not... It's... Yeah, I was about to say, it's not it's not our fault our town is 99% white, but it kind of is. Uh, well, not, not mine directly, but, you know, the people that lived here before me. So the top of your stairs to the right? Hold on, let me deal with those guys, and then we'll come back to have a look. Having too much fun with the combat. I still blame Jolly, to be honest. It's always my fault somehow. Other stairs. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, there it is. Sequence complete. Ooh! Ooh! Found the flintlock speed loader. Fuck yes. Thank you very much, chat. Achievement, overkill is underrated. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it be overrated? It's overkill. Huh? <laughs> uh, uh, hilarious. I fucked up my chair position and now I don't know how to fix it. So I'm not blind. Yeah, you might be. Who knows? Maybe you just smelt the secret. Maybe your other senses are just overcompensating for that lack of sight. Filthy? Okay. Words hurt, guys. Words hurt. Quite literally. Chippies. <laughs> this section of the song sounds so fucking terrible. Ooh, bolt cutters? Found some bolt Oh, okay. I thought they might be a weapon. Now it makes more sense that they're probably to open up a door somewhere. Chained up the fence. Could have said much worse shit. I don't know. Somebody calling me filthy. I, I pride myself as a pretty cleanly dude. Except for the whole, you know, mouse that looked like it had seven years of caked on gamer sweat on it. Which is a problem, I will admit. But, uh, I, I, I think I'm a pretty cleanly dude. Ah, oh, makes sense. Thanks, so. Oh, sorry, what'd you say? You out of memory? back over here, which now means I can get in here? Oh, I could always get in here. Shit. Oh, ho, ho. Right. I like David's sense of balancing. He makes everything really powerful, which means you never feel bad using any of your weapons. It's a real... It's a real difficult balancing act. Of course, he only has three weapons that he's given you currently, but still... That's... Wait, what did, that, what did that button do? What did that button do? Any gamer gunk on the new mouse? No, no, no. It'll take a couple of years. It'll take a couple of years to get that sort of patina on my mouse. What did... What did that... What did, what did that do? Did you actually press the button? Yes, of course. I just don't know what it did. Did it open up? Nope. Down here, maybe? Whoa! Sketchy. I'm not sketchy. I'm a very normal looking guy. Hey, I am a white guy. I am a well dressed white guy. I'm never sketchy. I always look like I belong. Which I abuse to do sketchy shit. Jelly probably smells like a mid level suburban convenience store. It, it, yeah, if you're in the uh, the perfume and lotion section, so those sections always smell fucking fantastic. No matter how shitty the convenience store is, lotions overpower the ugly bad smells. I hate time zones. I just woke up at 7:30 a.m. That's good. You should be waking up at 7:30 a.m. We are streaming for two hours. Yeah, but still, 7 a.m. Now you can watch the best parts of the stream. It usually takes me two hours to warm up. Though that being said, I am lost in this labyrinth of a level. Where the fuck do I go from here? Oh, this way. This way. This way. I just opened up this before. And now I can go up here. Grab these. Hey, this is a game about goblins. Um, we, 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 uh, we let goblins out of a box, and now they're fucking everything up. So we've taken it upon ourselves to fix this problem. whole stream for you to warm up usually. That's not true. Though it is true I am far more functional after about 3 p.m. most days. The bloom in this level is nuts and I'm not sure where the fuck I have to go. Where do I go? What 
that butt open? What that button open? I don't know. I'm also too busy vibing out to music. This. It's gotta be this. Yep, alright. Down there, but first we'll go over here to this fancy rookie building. Man, sometimes, sometimes I wish I could go back to the 80s. Because it's like you've got the pinnacle of technology and no internet. Like, being like in your mid 20s in the 80s must have been great. Oh, they've locked the fence. Find a way through with these bolt cutters I already found. What the fuck is that? Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, goblin train. <laughs> They've opened a time portal after them. Okay, in a second. Firstly, I need to drink this Jägermeister. Or destroy it. It is kind of disgusting stuff. Ooh. I'll eat the chippies. I'll eat the trash chippies instead. Ooh, Jägermeister? No chance. Trash chippies? Crumbs at the bottom of a open bag of ways. Mmm, delicious. And trash beer. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this is a subtle commentary on uh, Jägermeister right here. Should I just go in? Is there anything else that I should do before I go? I guess I'll just jump in. Woo! Through time and space. Ooh, now that's an effect. Screen warp. A whirl of colors, or screen whirl, I should say. Damn it. Uh. A whirl of colors passes by and you emerge from a time portal, gasping for breath. After a moment, you survey your surroundings and it doesn't take long for you to comprehend the Chop Goblin's plans. You're in the castle of Count Dra Dracula. Okay, whatever. It's zany 80s shit. Of course we're in the castle of Count Dracula. They must mean to wake him from his eternal slumber to aid them in their evil rampage. A strange weapon lies in front of you, seemingly fashioned to hurl wooden stakes. Left here by a doomed vampire hunter, no doubt. It'll probably come in handy for the battle that's about to take place. Okay, is this going to be like the crossbow from Half-Life? You missed the AR-2. Fuck! Uh, the Nosferatus are Dracula's fearsome feline pets, created through dark vampire magic. They've now joined forces with the Chop Goblins. Keep your distance and watch out for their lunge attack. All right. Oh, shit. Gemma... Gemma Palorex. Gemma Palorex, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Thank you. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, what's up? I meant to turn on webcam. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Thank you, Dark Leader, for the... Prime for 18 months, and thank you, Secret Keeper, for the doom for 8 months. Thanks to Annoyed Gamer for my gifted sub. Thank you, Annoyed, for creating so many long-time subs. Yeah, Chop Goblins. Yeah, it's great. I'm really enjoying this. Here's the machine gun you Greetings, used in the first brother. level. I got the, I got the shotgun. It's fine. Oh, you will give me... Angie. You will give me. You will give me an egg. <laughs> okay, his name is You will give me an egg. I thought it was You will give, and then Greetings, me, and then brother. Anne, and then no, mean mean egg. You will give me an egg. Sorry, you will give me an egg. Look, it's difficult. Look, it's. Words are hard, okay? They're difficult, they're complex. They've got a lot of moving parts, a lot of things that you have to figure out. And I'm not a thinker, I'm a doer, all right? I don't think before I do. And that's how I got AIDS. Um, <laughs> thank you, Zoldo64 for the Prime. Is to anybody out there, I don't actually have AIDS, only syphilis, you know, and I can fix that. If I could be bothered. Um, Is English your first language? Yes. Well, technically stupid is my first language, I think. Possibly. I don't know. Gonna be real, I have no idea how I got the sub, and there's a non-zero possibility it was paid for by my mum's card without my knowledge. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
What mum doesn't know won't hurt her, and will provide me with money for food. Alright, let's go. The Mark II Impaler, Vlad. Oh, I like it. Oh, neat. Oh, machine gun. Alright. Alright, so I imagine this is really good against um, the... Uh, I don't know what they're called. Smurf hats. I'm just going to call them Smurf hats. Oh, hey, it's the naked ladies again. What is up with Renaissance ladies? I'm looking real... Real cute. Which is me. They got, they got a certain style to them. Yep. Sharp, 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 sharp. Yes. That knife that you threw in my face was rather sharp. Looks like the steak launcher from Painkiller. Very possible. I didn't play Painkiller. I just, I bounced off of it like twice. Oh, I'll put the shooter movement. So great to just sort of slide around. And the better you are at shooting, the easier the game is. Like this, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. I'm playing on Goblin. And this shit's fun. I feel like Years of Half-Life has really served me well in terms of FPS ability. Excuse me? I'm quite clearly winning right here. I'm sure I play video games on the internet, which does by default make me a little bit of a loser. But still. I'm winning. I'm doing good. Don't make me question myself. Okay, fuck it. Fuck off. Bye. What the fuck are those? Oh, I thought they were like chattering teeth. Oh god! Ooh, hey, yeah, I'm going down here now. Please tell me there's no fall damage. Oh, I think there was. Oh boy, I'm on five health. Don't die. No restart. No restart, please. Oh, man, this is very different from Half-Life. I have to constantly be scared of what's going on and dying. Strange looking little things, aren't they? Weird little dog creatures. Weird looking, looking things. Um, that's open now, and now we can go. Does this hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Oh, I just, I just took lots of damage. Whatever. Bunch of health there. What does this do? Ooh, what is up this? Wow, get fucked. That felt great. That felt really great. Yeah, I, should I be drinking nondescript chalices in Dracula's castle? I feel like I probably just drank some blood. I feel like that's probably a bad thing to do. I feel like that's a quick way to get some hepatitis or some shit. Um. Did Chop Goblins just come out? No, it came out a while ago. Uh, I just, I just never played it. What the fuck's going on with you? I've got like a, I've got like a, a stone chip in my sock somehow. It's like hurting my, my little toe. Oh, chop coin, sweet. I'm one of the largest holders of chop, chop coin. This is great. I can manipulate the market. What was that? I didn't. I didn't read that. Too busy making a shitty joke. Oh, look at this combo. Look at this sick combo. Times eight. Times eight. Come on, get me a times nine. Times ten. Hell yeah. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Fuck off. Wow, there goes all my shotgun ammo. Whew. Alright, could have gone worse. Could have gone better. Um. Give me the big coins. And. What is that? Is that just a texture glitch? It's just a texture glitch. But I found a secret. Boo. Jolly, now with syphilis and hepatitis. <laughs> yeah. Collecting STDs like they're fucking trading cards. Gonna be a shambling corpse of a human in no time. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know whether I want it. Do I wanna? I could. But that's probably a bad idea. Should probably go this way. Maybe at least 
Yes, yes. Dude, how can you be this sloppy? That lever must be important. The door opens. Hmm. It's fucking the single person working on this game can fix that simple lighting bug. Fucking shows you how much effort and time you put into this. Oh, hey, <laughs> there are little worms. <laughs> <laughs> I love this concept. This is great. I would pay $8 for this any day of the week. Same engine as Dust? Yeah. Dave's, Dave's done a fair bit of stuff with this engine. Oh, you're not going to let me... Really? Ah, oh, boo. Moon. Samsung. Galaxy S23 moon. That is to say, the, the, the moon of a stock photo that has now been supplanted over the moon in your image to make it look better. You guys seen that shit? That shit's nuts. They're like the, the, the S23 camera will notice when a moon's in your photo and just replace the moon in your photo with a stock image to make the image look better. Yeah, it'll like, it'll like enhance the moon, but instead of in actually enhancing the moon in quotations, it'll just use AI to replace it with a stock image of a moon. The future. Yeah, so your photos look fucking incredible. It's like, wow, that moon has so much detail. But it secretly, it's just a fucking JPEG that's been put over your moon image. Um, and you can, you can cheese it. By taking, like, putting a moon on a screen in a, like, a, in a room and then turning off all the lights and, like, putting up a blurry image of a moon and the camera will, like, autofocus for a second and then just snap the moon into focus even though the image of the moon is actually blurry. Um, ooh, found a sinister mask. Neat. Not a JPEG, it's a PNG. I call everything JPEGs, because it's more fun to call everything JPEGs. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? Oh, oh, really? Had a torch this whole time? Okay. I guess I am a kid in the 80s. That would make sense. Got your travel keeper. Got your torch. Got your pocket knife. Got your crossbow, or well, not your crossbow, your slingshot. That's the word I was looking for. Find three masks. Okay, found one. Something's missing. Yes, the other two masks. Find you an observant one. Look at that. Look at that fine collection of polygons right there. Amazing. Got your Walkman. Oh, what? No, I'm not one of them rich kids. I think you got enough money for a fucking Walkman. Do have my CD player though. That fucking dog lunge, holy shit. What? What? They're cute little guys. Cute little guys. Very, very big mouths. Can fit a lot in their mouths. Just like my ex. Whew. Right. Um. That's not true. I don't have an ex girlfriend. Women don't tolerate me. For obvious reasons. Um. Health bonus. Yep, this is... Oh, hey, found it. Sweet, that was actually very easy. Honestly, uh, uh, this is one of those rare times where I'm constantly looking for secrets, and usually in games, I'm not looking for secrets, and I find them. And because I'm constantly looking for secrets, I seem to be finding the way to my objectives. Which is kind of the opposite of what I'm trying to do. Whatever, I don't need secrets. We'll find all this stuff eventually. Cool kids have an iPod. This is the 80s, man. All masks inserted. When do you think iPods were released? iPods weren't the hip, cool thing in 1999. They didn't even exist in 1999. <laughs> like... You're 20 years early, dude. Aren't 90% of your friends women? Yeah, but the joke works better if I say that. That's strange. Jelly, 
lose, but women lose the progress they've been fighting for simply by being in proximity to Jolly. He radiates Oonga Boonga energy. <laughs> what, do you think my day-to-day -day attire is just like a loincloth and just carrying around a large stick? Greetings, brother. The iPad was announced in October 23, 2001. Yes, it was released in 2002. So I was right. 17 years early. Yes, yes. Hey, come on, guys. I, I'm... I'm a simple man, but I can dress myself. I understand food comes from shops, and not forests. I don't try and hunt and gather. I know it would end poorly for me. I'm not one of those... I might be a caveman, but I'm not a successful caveman. Where the fuck would I go from here? You also wear a shirt. What, just a regular ass shirt? Jelly, would you ever play the Bayonetta games? Yes, but nobody would watch me. I want to play DMC on stream, but I, I know nobody would watch me. You, any of you remember that insane RPG developer who claims to be partner? Ooh. Can I get in here? I want to get down there. It's got to be... Secret. I would watch. Yes, but, you know... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to, you know, make a living here. I could stream to 20 people, and I would be happy, but I also need food to live. Can I get on one of these? Dang it. Hmm. 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 Ooh, ooh, they did that Dark Souls shit. Don't die here. Whatever you do, do not die here. Yoink. Alright, what the fuck is that? I don't know, but first we were grabbing this. Ripped the dagger in holy water. Ooh! Fuck yeah. My dagger now has particle effects. Whoop. Nice reuse of sound effects there. Not that I'm begrud begrudging you. I know you're a, you're an indie dev, but... A bit dusk. Shiny step. Uh, where the fuck do I go? Definitely already been down here. No, I haven't. Where am I? Oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> hey, Dracula. Be, to be a voice actor for, for, for a David Simans video game, whatever the fuck's last name is. It must be a lot of fun. It must be a lot of fun. Really? I thought the, the knife would be the whoop, deciding factor here. No, it's just bullets. Woo. Ah. I think I win. Hey. You again emerge from the time portal. Dracula's foul baritone echoing in your ears. I don't know, I found it kind of soothing. I think he was having a pretty great time there, just singing. Uh, you find yourself in ancient Greece. Dracula's defeat was a heavy blow to the chop goblins. And do you guess that they now seek the staff of the Corinthians? A powerful magic weapon from the annals of myth and legends. They cannot be allowed to wield such a weapon. You must find it first and use it against them. Well, chop goblins waste no fucking time, huh? You unseal them, and then bam, they've already found a way to teleport through history and start fucking shit up. Is this just Daikatana? Is this just Daikatana? I should play Daikatana. Next week we're playing Daikatana. Um, next week we're playing Daikatana. Made up my mind. This game seems heavily anti-goblin. I mean, can you blame them? We're definitely playing... We're definitely playing Daikatana. Oh god, why? Because I want everybody to suffer. Um, they cannot be allowed to wield such a weapon. You must find it and use it against them. The big choppers are the ultimate chop goblin warriors. Few weapons slow them down. 
They can destroy your health in seconds. Be careful. Okay. I better be with mods that fix the stupid companions. No, no, no. The stupider, the better. John Romero will make you his bitch. I don't know. I feel like I've I've dealt with enough bullshit. This won't phase me. I must, ap I must apologize for profusely for mentioning Daikatana. Thank you. Thank you very much, that guy there. I, I appreciate it. I won't be the only suffer one suffering through that stream. Jolly, no, the game is impossible without patches. How impossible are we talking here? Alright, we're in ancient Greece now. We didn't really actually teleport then, did we? We just sort of popped in. I guess after we defeated Dracula, we just sort of... Ooh. Ooh. Vaporwave as fuck. I love it. That water is pretty. We just sort of... Disappears. I think there was a little bit of a time skip there. Nice vibe change, yes. Uh, definitely beats Dark Dingy Cunts Castle. I was gonna say Cunstle, but of course I wouldn't say that. I'm not allowed to say that word on YouTube anymore. Whoa, that almost hit me. Bright and vibrant is an underrated aesthetic. Dark and gringy is, is kind of the go-to, and it's annoying as shit. Um, oh, that's gonna teleport me somewhere, but I want health first. Just, uh, health, can I activate this? Or that? Or whoops! Well, I guess... I guess none of these old antique bots are gonna... gonna survive. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I love you guys. You know, I'm surprised. I, I wonder if there's going to be an enemy that homages uh, a medieval. Uh, there's an enemy in a medieval that's, that's like, all about shop, shop, shoppy, and just attacks you with two meat cleavers. It feels like, oop, this would be the perfect place to have a homage to it. Homage, homage, homage. How do you say homage? Gone. Um, I don't know. I want to go in here first. Hold on. Oh, I can't. Oh, that's just actually water. All right, it's not a portal. All right, guys. All right, guys. Jolly, climb rock. What rock? What, this rock? Oh, oh, you're right. You're right. How do I get up there? Here. What? Excuse me? There's quite clearly something up there. Homage. No, I think it's homage, isn't it? What? it but but you, surely you can get up that. Look at that. It's homage. It's not homage. It's not homage. That's not how you say it. You Americans in chat don't know what you're talking about. It's a French word, is it not? It's homage. 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 I think that's how you say it. What is that? Homage, not homage. <laughs> homage. Okay. Dead if I'm not incredibly lucky. Oh, I'm not incredibly lucky. Fuck. Don't kill me. Fuck. Dicey dice. Oh, hey. Okay, those guys are fucked. How am I not dead? Chop, chop. Oh, are these guys on? Hold on. Hold on. I want to. Well, fuck, we're going to restart the whole entire level, but... Is this, is this a heart? Mid, evil, shop, 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 shoppy. This, is this the... 
No, I, I can't. I can't figure out which enemy it was. Man, a medieval is great. I've got the level of respect it deserves. Wait, it's supposed to be a caveman? What? 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 Why do you think that? I'm, I'm, I'm not a caveman. I'm a, quite clearly a fucking 80s kid. Look at my denim. Look at my denim. 80s as fuck. I actually really appreciate the denim. denim. I didn't even notice that two seconds ago. Oh god. Well, I'm gonna have to restart this again. Oh, she's dead. Alright, that's good. I really like these little goblins. I hear Dawn of War tracks? Really? I, I hear... I hear a lot of fucking 80s. Wait, what did that do? That opened up this. What did I try? Climb that rock? They have a secret. Yeah, I, I can't... I can't climb that rock. It won't let me. There's no way to climb this rock. The best I can do is like... Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, that was it. Oh, nope, almost got it. Why can't I just climb the rock normally? Wait, hold on, hold on. Yes! No, come on! Come on! I can't walk up this? Oh, this is some bullshit. Try going in the water, does it teleport you anywhere? Oh, hey. Can't go in the water, but can I grab all of that? I didn't even go down to the beach. I, I, I literally can't climb it. But apparently it leads you to a secret? Can I... Nope. We believe. For some reason, I don't. It's fucking possible doing what I'm doing, or is there another way? Is there like a run button that I don't know about? Found the lore unfriendly secret. <laughs> Found the wand of the Corinthians. Okay. And I got the achievement Ludo Narrative Dissonance. Oh, because I got the I got the wand way earlier than I should have. Right. <laughs> My whole quest is to get this, and I've already got it. Whoa! Okay. Yes, right. Uh quite a boomstick. Kill me, don't kill me, I just got my fucking goddamn sick ass gun. Or well, not gun, wand. It's kinda like a gun. Woo! Well, yep, okay. Don't worry, this time we got this. As expected from Jolly. What what do you mean? I did it. It's a Halo club. What, what, what do you mean? Whatever, we, we died. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We'll just get back up here and grab this again, and this time we'll just vaporize everybody in this room, and then we'll be fine. Okay. All right. All right, this is really reminiscent of Daikatana. Well, I guess we'll find out how reminiscent it is in, uh, in a week or so when I play Daikatana. How many other tubers have played Daikatana? I can't imagine it's too many. Like, there's only a couple. Stop mentioning Daikatana, why? Do you think we'll summon John Romero? Curse this playthrough to become shit? Everything else he touches other than Doom? It's 
So that was mean. I'm sure he's made some good stuff. What else has he made other than Doom and Daikatana? Didn't he have a hand in Rage? Oh, oh you stupid game. Fuck off. This section is rough, man. Daikatana possibly couldn't be any worse than Battlefield Earth. I don't know, man. Wait, are you comparing it to a movie? Are you being like, oh man, that's bad. But you, have you heard Miley Cyrus's new album? That's totally worse than Daikatana. That doesn't... That doesn't work like that. It's not how things work. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I love those big guys so much. Daikatana's pretty old, so it's kind of expected a lot of people already made videos on it. Yeah, 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 no, I'm not saying that. I don't, I don't care if everybody's made videos on it. I still want to experience it. I want to see how bad it actually is. Because I'm, I'm kind of in a weird spot where my my expectations for what's good and what's bad, fuck. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, ooh, hey, none of that. My, my... Uh, yardsticks for what is good and what is bad are horribly, horribly out of whack because I've played so many terrible Half-Life mods. Fuck you. Oh, come on. One down. Just don't get hit by the other one. Woo! Alright. Sick. So you're gonna play Omicron, the Nomad Stop. Snow. So you're gonna play... Omicron, the Nomad Soul? Probably not, because I know that is... That is bad, even by my standards. That shit is... is... is garbage. And it's not very... Uh, entertaining garbage, either. There's entertaining garbage, and then there's just... I... I would rather be watching paint dry. I... I would rather be doing... nothing. I... I would just... You know what? I can just sit and stare at a blank wall, and it would probably be more entertaining and less frustrating than playing Omicron the Nomad Soul. What about the original Prey? I actually played a bit of that. Had a good time. Especially like the part where the children just eat shit for no reason in like the zany fucking alien adventure. It's like, oh wow, shit's going, oh this is crazy, this is nuts, and oh god, child murder. Out of nowhere. Really, um, really took a turn. Sudden, sudden shift that I can appreciate. Watching Paint Dry was a great video. Okay, I've got to stop using the euphemism, which is watching Paint Dry. Or the metaphor, should I say. Because it doesn't apply to me, because watching Paint Dry was actually one of my better videos. Even, even if it hasn't aged particularly well, but there was a lot of... Uh, uh, what? Oh. Okay. okay, this thing fucking rocks. It feels great to use. Man, these guys are dangerous, but honestly, they can't hit shit. Like, they're real bad over long range. Hey, I've watched you on YouTube for years, but never got a stream. Love your stuff, dude. Hey, what's up? This is a weird stream. Excuse me, sir. Can you off? Um, this is, this is a game about traveling through time, killing goblins, because we caught goblin let them out of a, a crate that they were tricked into uh, with the promise of cheese. No, that wasn't a joke, that's just, that's just how this is. Those big, big meaty chunks. Yeah. I mean, the best part about David is he shit posts a lot and, uh, fuck me in the ass. Can't believe I keep doing that. I keep hitting new objects and expecting them not to explode and they just explode right in my face. Blow their load all over me. Because I'm not a clever man. Oh, hey. Secret door opens. Hey, buddy. Hey, what am I doing? I've got a, I've got a super knife. What am I doing? Ow. 
Fuck. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> it's games like this that make you ask, am I the villain? No, definitely not. These guys are definitely the villain. Without question. No doubt about it. They're evil gnomes. They just tried to enlist Dracula for fuck's sake. I- I am the good guy here. I am the denim-wearing hero. Last time on FTL, Jelly got bombarded by three rockets and died. Yes. Yes, that- that ended well. That was a- that was a great way to end stream. You are- yeah, I'm the good guy. However, in many other situations, a lot of video game protagonists could- could be painted as the bad guy, considering their body count. There are probably better ways to achieve their goals than just murdering everybody in their way. Whatever. Yeah, how it is. Oh, shit. That's all I needed to do. Now I'm good. It fucks. Alright, we're good. I like, it seemed like Dracula was just a misunderstood opera singer. <laughs> yeah, he was also trying to drink my blood, alright? He's still a vampire, alright? Fuck you, goddamn. Didn't need to take damage there. Yes. I really like this. Probably because it's just a good boomer shooter. Whoop. There's all the cheese. Hell, maybe. Maybe she can check. Okay, folks. The music to this game is really good. Yeah, it's neat. It's a game in general. It feels really great to play. It has a, a great mix of weaponry. It's just good. Enemy is unique. Well, okay. All of them are goblins, but they're all uniquely different to fight. It's a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Well, didn't quite go down as well as could have, but good enough. I squinted, I was think you were thinking think you were playing modded Unreal. I really need to play some mods for Unreal. There are a lot of them. And for Quake. I should play some of those. Jelly, Rod, Ammo, and Spawn. Really? Alright, let's go check it out. I need to sit up. <sighs> My posture is terrible. I mean, I don't know. I don't know whether it's unfortunate, but I, I feel like I haven't run into many content games recently. I thought this might be one of them, but run into a lot of... Um, Oh, you're right. Plus one, one charge. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I love, I love how low poly the wand is. Just like deliberately shit looking. The little girl on top could be so much more detailed, but no. She just looks like somebody has like done the first draft of their model in clay. Okay. <laughs> oh. I really gotta stop using my knife. As useful as it is, it's it's not worth the risk. Yes. Okay. Come in. Okay. Slow mo is very useful. Okay, there are a lot of these guys. This is dangerous. What I'm doing is dangerous. But it works. Really works. It's all the cheese. Is that the goblin equivalent of where all the white women at? Oh god. Shit. Fuck. Come on, stop missing. Holy shit, almost died. Didn't die. Man. Not having save points. Really? What? Whoa, hold on. What's going on? God damn it. 
Really makes you more scared about dying, I say as I die, because I'm an idiot. Couple and equivalent of, where's my money, Lebowski? <laughs> That's actually more accurate, for sure. <laughs> I was promised cheese, like 10,000 years ago. I would like my cheese, please. Surprised they're going to all this effort when they could just teleport, you know, to like a cheese factory. Jinxed yourself, yeah, kind of. It's annoying, but at the same time, it does add significantly more stakes, which is is good. You can never have too many stakes. They're great for you. It's good protein, lean meat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Chewers. Still one of my favorite, favorite pick-me-up clips is that clip of, of Pat stares at with the fucking shitty ass cheese meme. Just like the shittest meme and he is losing it and nobody else understands why. Yeah, they should just be teleporting to Wisconsin, really. Wait, is the dog a fucking smaller squirrel bear? Uh, I think the squirrel- oh, for fuck's sake, just give me the boomstick. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, aim more this way, I think. No, I need to. I need to be faster. I need to be moving. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Ah! I swear to God! I swear to God! Stab you, bitch! Ah! Yeah! Woo! I'm surprised how many of you watch Pat. <laughs> To be honest, I knew Ed was a massive fan, but more than a couple of you seem to tune in. He's a, he's a very strange man. Not the greatest human ever, but honest to a fault, which I appreciate. Run it into a RIP, so I can imagine, can't imagine it's too th hard. What, what do you mean? I don't understand what you're talking about. Sorry. Sometimes people in chat talk about things, and it sounds much more interesting than the things I'm talking about, so then I want to, like, get in on whatever the people in chat are talking about. I'm using my boomstick. Why am I not using my boomstick? Where is this bitch? It sucks. Suck, but at least you're not a liar. Except Pat, not Wooly. <laughs> yeah. Basically, and like, he doesn't. He's not. He's not a terrible human. But like, being brutally honest to his wife that if they were getting chased by a bear, that he would totally push her over so he could live. Where it's like, at least you have the balls to say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, at least you have the balls to say it. And he was like, yeah, I'd, I'd feel bad that you were dead, but, you know, personally, I just, I, I could continue going. <laughs> Jolly beach health. I should go grab that, shouldn't I? And, and the extra ammo for this. That's, I mean... Personally, I'm not sure what I'd do in that situation. I think I would just be like, ah, oh, may the best man win. If you're quicker than me, congratulations, you get to live. If I'm quicker than you, I get to live. Either way, we'll mourn each other's losses, eventually move on, and uh, probably go and live happily with somebody else. And remember the times we spent together, and what could have been. Oh, there goes all my health, because I'm an idiot. Didn't immediately target this fucking Smurfette. Oh, not a shotgun. Shotgun over long range is a bad idea. Don't die. Woo! Alright, we're good. I would yell louder than the bear. You do that, Gigi, you do that. Well, I'm 200 feet away, and once you go, ah! 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 I'm scaring you! I'm scared. Oh, he's eating me! Oh no! Help! And I'd just be like, ah, well. I loved her, but, you know, I'm safe, and that's what matters. 
I love Toe, but not as much as I love me and living. <laughs> By the way, did you see that page? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're not we're not turning this into a jolly talks about Pat stare that stream. We're not doing that. I only did that about Vinny. Once. And it was actually kind of a tool that worked out really well for me. But, you know. <laughs> Not doing that. It's an interesting game. Alright? The problem is, the only problem with this game is that I've redone this level three times now. Because of foolish mistakes on my part and not paying enough attention. Because I was typically talking about stupid bullshit. Oh god! That miss? God damn it, I really gotta be more careful with these shots. Ow. Alright, there we go. All good. I might I might play I will probably play Quake multiplayer for a little while. I wanna I wanna play Jabroni Brawl with people in, in my community Discord at some point. Seems like a good good idea. How would I get in there? How would I get in there? It's gotta be a button or something, right? Ooh, ooh, no. I thought they were. This game, this map is very pretty. There's gotta be a secret somewhere, right? You wanna play My Little Pony? There's a game for My Little Pony. Wasn't there, wasn't them fighting herds originally gonna be a My Little Pony game? And then the Mattel was like, no, fuck you, you're not doing that? That is bullshit. I could barely see the top of your stupid little head. Ah! That's fine. Okay, where are these bitches? Ah! Ah! I'm fine. That was a different type of scream. That wasn't a scientist scream. That was... That was unique. What was that? I don't know what the fuck he said. <laughs> what indeed. A man with a steak gun. That's what. Uh, several doors open? Okay, I guess I should go back and check those those doors from before. Oh, fresh grapes and an apple? Fuck yeah. Love ancient Greece. Everybody was just lounging around on sofas eating grapes. Fucking amazing. What? Has Vinny played this? I don't- I feel like this- I feel like I haven't seen anybody play this. Oh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. This one. Like I got this last time and then- Ooh! Fuck yes. Whoa! Neat. And then can I fit back like hit? No, okay. Thought that was gonna be a triple secret. Can I... Nope. Alright, back down we go. Did I how did I miss these coins? I don't know. Alright. Uh and then we want to go to where all those doors were, which are back here. So these doors are going to be open now, I guess. Yeah. Come on, come on buddy. Come on, buddy. Get thoughts. Come on. Goodbye. Hmm. Alright, is there anything I can do with you? Pretty polygon lady. This is actually... This could be posted to that stupid fucking Twitter account like Vaporwave Aesthetics. Look at this shit. You remove, like, the arm and everything. Fucking Vaporwave is shit. What's with the architecture? Sometimes Greek, sometimes Arabic. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't think this thing's taking, uh... Uh... Historical accuracy into account. I think, I think it's just sort of... You know... A rough estimation of many a thing. 
Oh, this is where we came out before, right? And where was that other secret door? Where was the other door that I was like, I want to get in? This one. That was so unnecessary. It's just unacceptable. It's just unacceptable. I'll try and get a refund after this. Texture seems not allowed. Oh hey, look at all this stuff. Man, what happened to like architecture and like art and stuff? There was like a big change in art. And people kept going, oh, it was like the fall of the Roman Empire, but even when the Roman Empire was still around, art got real fucking weird for some reason. And like abstracts. And people didn't look like people. That lava is eye searing and beautiful. I don't know how it looks to you guys, but on my monitor it looks incredible. Also kinda looks like a bunch of like blackheads. I think that might give some people, like, that, um, triphobia, tryptophobia shit. Looks okay, I think it looks amazing. Like, glows really nice. Hate abstraction. I don't mind it. You know, when I'm looking at figures throughout history, I want to have, like, a real good idea of what they looked like. And be able to go, like, wow, they were people just like us. And not be like, well, that's like a child's scribble of, of what this man would have looked like. I am playing with fire here. I fuck one of these jumps up. Oh god. Oh boy. Is that where I came from? Is this where I came from? I don't know. Well, I was more playing with jump pads now that I think about it, but same, same. Ah, nope. Nope. No bad words. Don't say the bad words. They make me sad. I like that her words don't hurt me if she can't see me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Oh, that's that's down here. Oops. Um, it's quite interesting how that works. I imagine it would make cyberbullying far less effective, right? So did I snort a second ago? I don't snort while laughing. That's weird. I don't know why I did that. That's, I, I didn't mean to do that. I apologize for the snort. I got a little pee. Really accurate and good, good and convenient to use jump pads. I like them a lot. It's David. He knows how to design a video game. side of that stairs. You missed it. How? What? 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 What did I miss? Uh, this one? Yeah. No, not this one. That one. What did I miss? The other side of the stairs. Oh! Oh, that's what I missed. I missed it because I was looking at chat. Alternatively, I'm blind. I don't know. I do a lot of looking at chat, alright? Ooh, what the hell is this? Oh, what's that? Okay. How to get that? I don't know. Oh, in here. Nope. There's a jump pad over here, so there's obviously a way to get over here from over here. Oh, down in here. Right. Yoink. Whee! Oh, boy. That went further than I thought it was going to. Oh, boomstick, boomstick. Ah, uh, bad. Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, now I feel much better about restarting that first level. I honestly do, because I felt like that was going to slow this stream down, but nope. Goddamn beefcakes. Yeah, fucking jocks. Ruining my school life. Ruining my enjoyment of this. Bastards. Outlander, I'm still not a sh I'm still not sure what that emote is supposed to mean, but every time it pops up, it catches my eye like no other. 
next level is the worst. Yeah, it's not. It's not the best. I feel like if I didn't have the Wand of the Corinthians, it would be even worse, however. I'm just gonna run straight through this. Music's good. I feel like when there's good music playing, I don't feel anywhere near as much of a need to constantly feel the dead air. Which is a double-edged sword. So on one hand, it's good on my little voice box. On the other hand, this is a bad idea. Yep, well, at least I recognized it was a bad idea as I committed to it and died immediately. Learning is key. Yes, don't merely the big dude that throws like a bajillion million axes at once. Person, that is the weirdest fucking emote. And I, I have no idea. What even context would you use that emote in? There is no context you would use that emote in outside of the, I imagine, in joke that it is, is used for in one specific chat. It's like Dr. Kleiner with like a mouth, like a a flash animation mouth drawn on him. You ever thought about listening to your conscience telling you something is a bad idea? I've thought about it, but you know. When when I am four stabs in to killing a hooker, I just I I kinda think, you know what? My conscience was wrong. This is a great time. I'm having so much fun. Oh shit, hey Das Dono, thank you very much for the T1 for six months. And Zoldo, 64, I think I already thanked you. Thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you very much, Das Dono, if you're still here. Jolly health. Yeah, it's fine. He needs health. Fuck. Fuck. I really shouldn't be able to change the weapon that I have no ammo for. Pops. Yeah, big pops. I like the pops. Well, I haven't been popping much. I feel like when that emote came out, I, I made a conscious, e a conscious effort to pop more. And then I sort of stopped doing it. Or whatever. Oh man, I still need to contact Mori. He's forgotten about my emote commission again. That's <laughs> all cheese. You know, maybe if I just gave them cheese, they would stop attacking me. Maybe it's one of those, like, they're quite clearly asking for something, so why not just give it to them? Just start handing out, like, brie or some shit. This is bad, but I'm fine. This is bad, but I'm fine. Sorry, I'm concentrating because I'm on 10 health and I don't want to die here. Oh. Hold the power of cheese. I feel like it would be a really good bug bait in this. It's like a Half-Life 2-esque bug bait so you can have your own little army of goblins. That'd be pretty neat. Gotta shoot them with the hardest cheese. What is the hardest cheese? Oh god. God, that feels good. Don't die, don't die. What the hell is to not die? Alright, hey, thanks for the sub or don't know whoever it was. Oh, I knew! 
Oh, I blame that on Herbert the AI for being so kind as to resub to me for 20 months. More money stolen just for the cute emotes. You know, I made the comment early on that I didn't feel like this was too difficult. But um, now I'm kind of regretting saying that. They're naked. Y yes. Let's talk about how how the naked axe throwing men are naked. Let's not talk about my repeated fuck-ups. Well, the day is hubris. What? I said all I have to do here is not die and then die. That's not hubris. That's just... A, a fucking Greek tragedy right there. Apparently, Chupuri is considered the hardest cheese in the world. Traditionally produced... Uh, produ traditionally produced and prepared by pastoralists in the highlands of East, the Eastern Himalayas, Chupuri is a protein-rich cheese with a smoky flavor, hard consistency that gradually becomes chewy chewier the longer you gnaw at it. That sounds delicious. That sounds fucking delicious. I want to eat that cheese. Protein-rich cheese sounds fantastic. Get my pump on and then gnaw on some cheese. Well, I tell you what, something I didn't expect to have have so many have such a uh, groundswell is fucking mousely. Resident Evil 4. Mouse Ashley has gone off the fucking chain, dude. Don't want to have to gnaw on my cheese. I don't know, but it's it seems like that sort of cheese would be really nice. I like I like a, a like strong yet chewy texture. I imagine it's like cheese jerky in a way. I could totally eat some cheese jerky. You guys know about Mousely? I'm sure you do. There's a one-off post by some dude about what if, what if Ashley from Resident Evil 4, no, uh, not Ashley, yeah, it's Ashley, isn't it? From Resident Evil 4 was, was a mouse, and then everybody just went nuts. I don't understand where it came from. I think it's a great um, example of the internet having no... There's no way to actually figure out what the internet wants or likes or will, like, just take and meme to high hell. It'll just happen. Completely depends. New Balzetti? Kind of. A mouse, yes. Just look, just look up Mousely. Uh, Resident Evil 4, and you'll see so much fucking fan art. Taste of my blade. Oh, you are totally... Yeah, without a question, that is a... Wait, I think I already mentioned this, didn't I? Yeah, I already mentioned this. It's like, that is definitely a Warcraft 3 reference. I wish she would just shut up. But then how else are you supposed to know she's crushing on Leon super fucking hard? I'm gonna give you these bits to never talk about cheese jerky again. Okay. What other fucked up jerky could we make? What other foods are out there that are fucked up as jerky? Chocolate jerky would be strange. That would be that would be bad. Just like extremely chewy chocolate. Although I imagine there's probably chocolate bubblegum out there that's effectively just that. Mushroom jerky? I could imagine that not tasting too bad. Mushrooms are great. I love mushrooms. It's just a Charleston shoe? Yeah, I guess. Poor Ashley. Leon rather dates a woman who keeps working for the bad guys rather than a mouse. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta remember. Ashley is, has expertly hidden her ears in the new game. Her hideous fucking Dumbo ears. Leon knows what's hiding underneath those curls, and he is not a fan. Making me hungry. Don't force me to mug my fridge again. Don't mug your fridge. Wait, why are you mugging your fridge? It's your fridge's job. 
the reason it's kept around. I need mugs at first. Ooh, I... That sucks. Alright, that definitely works. Totally unnecessary. Health is way more important than fucking around saving ammo, but... It works. Alright. Oh, fuck me. I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. Ow, what? These guys fucking suck, man. She's rich. 100% she can get constructive surgery for that. No excuse. Yes. Also, yet again, Leon Leon has no shortage of options, all right? What which one which one will I date? The hot Asian lady, the the cute fucking uh, stars member or the president's daughter with huge fucking Dumbo ears. Like, come on. Come on. We all know which one he's picking. Ada's new voice actor sucks ass. Yeah, apparently she's terrible. And then has gotten huge amounts of threats and uh, pretty much been bullied off the internet as a result. Which isn't fair, but... You know, it's the internet. I hate every time something like that happens. Everybody goes, Oh, this community is so toxic. It's like, no, it's the internet in general. My dude, don't think, don't think that the people, fucking communities you visit aren't just as toxic. The fact of the matter is, it's just any, any uh, community without an actual figurehead is just gonna... Gonna, gonna do that shit. Like, oh, her immediately. We. Oh, and I can kill. Really? What the fuck? Why didn't that insta kill him? Why did that insta kill the other one? I guess the other one must have been more help. Mia Winters, though? What? Leon's not fucking Mia, Mia Winters. That's, that's not happening. I don't know enough about fucking Resident Evil lore, right, guys? Leave me alone. I haven't played the games. I only consumed massive amounts of media about the games because I follow people who play the games. I've watched Vinny play like four hours of it. Oh, you're not dead. Are you dead? It's, I think that's her corpse. Pretty sure that's her corpse. That's very misleading. She looks alive. Ah, fuck. Fuck you. Which media? No memes and stuff. I haven't watched the Resident Evil movies. What am I, a fucking idiot? <laughs> Who the fuck watches the Resident Evil movies other than idiots and super fans? I'm so mad. This looks interesting. Oh yes, this one level. I'm glad you find this one level interesting because you're probably going to see it another three times. Candy. Got this? Just do the thing. I'm so far in though. I have to do this shit. You're not dead? Really, woman? Fucking this up. I'm already fucking this up, because I'm mad, because I'm bad. The movies are dumb. Fantastic though, I'm so glad they exist just for that one like uh scene where they're like fighting with guns and they're like shooting at each other's feet right next to one another and like doing weird like backflips and shit. Or fighting with handguns. Really amusing. Really amusing. That one scene is... Uh, Kinto. It is top tier. I forget to play Portal Google Translate. Yeah, no way in hell. I, 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 no. I would, I would be so bored. I would be so fucking bored. <laughs> I, I, I would maybe play uh, Op 4 or another game, not Portal. 
problem with Portal Google Translate Edition is it, it's just Portal. I already know the puzzles. I already know how to solve them. So what would I get out of that? Really? Portal without the fun dialogue. Yeah. I mean, it's a good suggestion, but... I, I, yeah, it's personally not for me. But funny. But yeah, but also are all the other Google Translate editions. I play Blue Shift. Funny dialogue. Yeah, I, yeah, I just, yeah. Sorry, Derpy. Didn't mean to come down so hard on you, but... Just kind of one of those, like, yeah, nah, it's not for me. Type of things. Pretty funny with the deaf commentary dialogue. Oh, well, that's... that could be amusing. I could also do Half-Life 2 like that. Half-Life 2 seems like the obvious thing. Okay, and now... If I just... Hang out back here. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Yeah. Okay, this is a really great gun, and I actually need to use it. I'm so glad that I'm no longer one of those people that's like, oh, I have a really good gun, but I don't want to use it, though. What if I need it later? Like, when I reach the boss, I will pull out my RPG, and I will use it. Like, I won't just be like, oh, can you use my handgun? Let's use my handgun. If your game just completely breaks down as a result and just becomes like, oh, that boss fight's supposed to be super hard, but you use your Super Gun 5000, then maybe you shouldn't have included the Super Gun 5000. Welcome, Raider. <laughs> Shut up, Ultramites. <laughs> Shut up, Ultramites. Don't, don't encourage them. Don't encourage, like, one person raids. <laughs> Oh, is he just getting fucking jolly? Jolly has a tiny penis raiding for one. And then somebody else is just like, oh, I'll do it as well. Oh, although with that being said, Venus, if you are actually streaming, welcome. Welcome. I, I, I now just realized that, that could totally be you just streaming and just like, you know, you're starting out. And now I feel really bad. Now I feel really bad. Oh god, I've made myself feel bad. Well, I was actually streaming. Fuck! Shit! Sorry! Occasionally people just raid me for funny jokes. No, oh, I gotta... I'll raid you sometime or something. I'm sorry, man. Remember the secret behind the bays? Oh yes. Very sorry. I was looking for my knife, and then I realized my knife is a different button. Apology video. <laughs> I'll do it. If I feel guilty enough, I'll do it. I'm very sorry. I, I, yeah. It's the, the problem with thanking Raiders of one, that it, the, the occasion. You know what, Ultraviolet, that was a good thing. You did a good thing there, buddy. <laughs> I take it back. You thank the Raiders, so I don't have to, because I, I don't want to encourage, you know, Fat Dong McGee 420 raiding me with a party of one. Alright, uh, we should be good here. I've got a bunch of health, I just have to not fuck up now. Play it safe. God, I love the lack of, of changing weapon animation. It's great. I love that. Why bother putting in the effort? I don't need those, but I might need them later. I'm sorry, I'm conditioned to think I need those. Ah! Fine. Ah, that's a good way to deal with those guys. Okay, cool. Those open. Sweet. Jelly? Not F up? You feeling okay? Yeah. I'm feeling alright. I'd feel better if I hadn't fucked up this level for the last three times in a row. And don't worry, we haven't finished the level yet. Gotta remember that. 
The knight is still young. And the level is not yet complete. the way I've got to go now. And don't die. Okay. Ah. Ah, yes. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I should really just stab her, shouldn't I? It's definitely the right move there. Uh, anything over here? Nope. Sweet. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Slightly disappointed there. Wait, hold on. Is there anything over there? Ow. Oh, hey. There's a loss of health. Yes. Hello, nice to meet you. They sound... Those goblins sound like, um... Minions from, like, uh... Like, starting minions from a video game, right? Like a kind of jokey first per... Uh, not first person shooter. RTS game or something. Just the, hello, nice to meet you. I want to chop and like shit like that. It feels really... RTS-y. What? Where? Oh, up there. Don't shoot me yet. I'm not up there yet. Uh, yep, down here, I think. And then I grab that. And then I can't get over there yet. Why? No, 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 no. Hold on. I still have business down here. Oh, the cheese. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I might be fucked here. Might be fucked. Ah, oh, fuck it. Who cares? Fuck! Sorry. I'm sorry. Genuinely pissed off, though. He's learning. Rot row. I blame that entirely on you. Serious. I blame it in- you said I'm learning. Don't compliment me. Complimenting me is a surefire way to have me fuck up immediately. Don't shush me. I'm very mad. This is painful. If you're pro or anti femboys, you trying to make this conversation political, the Outlander. I have nothing against the pussy. <laughs> it's a trap. No, well, yes. <laughs> Somebody's just like, hi. Did you just come in or did you hear the conversation about femboys and then go, Oh, hey, what's up? I'm here. How's it going? Who? Where are they? Are they nearby? Can I say hi? Tell them I said hi. What? Okay, I'm working on an insult. I hope it helps. Thanks. Thanks. I don't know. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm reading chat for some reason. I don't know why. All they're going to be talking about is femboys, so I should just pay attention to the game. It's not like I've got much to say about the game at this point. It's the same fucking level again, David. Blame this on you and not me and my lack of FPS skills. I don't understand this combo. No, don't worry about it. Just shut up, shut up, shut up about, shut up about fanboys. No more fanboy conversation here. Let's let's leave it at that. You're already horny enough as is, chat. If it, does the Sophian ordeal seem to draw you in, Jolly? I just like. Suffering, apparently. Something I like. 
I'm never content with just, you know, everything working out. Everything must be difficult. Everything must make me suffer. Where's the fun? I'm not having a bad time. Aggroed. Walk out of his line of sight, he'll start moving towards you, and then you shoot him. Towards me? There we go. Towards me, don't shoot. Oh, hey, I'm fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. How are you guys? You guys fine? Yo, this is some serious Sam shit. Dave, I'm I'm surprised you haven't played this, man. This is a, this is a fun little game about a kid in the 80s breaking into a uh, museum. That's what kids in the 80s do. Um, opening up a box and having a bunch of goblins jump out of it. Uh, and now trying to fix his problem. And also just jumping through time um, as well. Because apparently the, the goblins stole an ancient as tech tablet that allows them to jump through time. Okay, uh, Fuck. Where's all my ammo for this gun? I feel like I should have more ammo for my boomstick. He stole the cheese from the goblins. No, I didn't. They were promised cheese, and that's why they went in the box. And it turns out the box didn't have cheese. And that's entirely on them for being too foolish and trusting. Also, every time you die, you have to restart the whole entire level, which is no fun. Forget about the secret behind the vase again. I didn't forget about the secret behind the vase. In fact, we're gonna go get that right now because I totally knew that there was a secret behind the vase. And I was just waiting and testing you all to see if you guys remembered it. But you did. Good on you, chat. Being smart. Look at you guys being smart. You're clever, just like me, chat. Whee, golden coins. Chop coins. Bitcoin. All those people. I'm sure that guy's new. Neat. Ah, Jolly's still in Greece, I see. Yes, I may have died three or four times on this level to stupid bullshit. But you know, that's life. Nudity in my ancient Greece? <laughs> Not likely. In ancient Greece, they were all good Christians. None of that degeneracy you see today, like... LGBTQ stuff. Ooh. No? Greetings, In my ancient brother. Greece, they were all super straight. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, MRT1X. For the, the tier one. Hey, thanks a lot for that. Fuck. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, I missed that. Ah, oh, I missed the coin. We should just restart. We should just restart the whole level. Life isn't worth living. This is bullshit. I fucked up. Greetings, brother. Oh, he killed himself. I don't have to fuck him. He's too busy fucking himself. Okay, how do I get out of And then up here. And then hopefully she comes running over here. Come running over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where did she go? Come here. Back. Back. Shank a bitch. That's what you do. If somebody's being mean to you, if somebody's saying bad things to you, you know, making you upset, fucking stab him! Stab him! I can't insult you if they're fucking dead! And then, when everything's all, you know, 
No more bullying. It's a real quick and easy way to stop your bullies in their tracks. English moment. Look, England isn't the only place with knives. It's just the place with the most people who are likely to stab you with knives. There's a difference. Oh, hey, Bav. Shanker Bitch sounds like a good company name. Sounds German. Germans are known for their quality. Hey, Bim Bav. Damn, this is where I die. I'm too busy concentrating on Bavin. And not. Oh, I did it! We're not dead! Yeah! Oh, yeah. We're alive. Holy fuck. I, it, tell me. Don't tell me this is the end of the level as well. Okay, it's not. Good. So I was going to say, if this was the last little section of the level, and we just kept dying right in front of the end. Chilling in the lands as you do. Oh, yes. In the outback. And the windset swept plains of the Bluey Mountains. Clap, 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 but there's more. Yeah, but that, that section was supreme bullshit, so I think we're fine. The wand is stored in this temple. The correct symbols to get... What? I don't know. I'm making them all the God of War symbol. Yeah, God of War. Love God of War. Um. Why? That one. 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 Did it! Woo! <laughs> I'm so smart. I got the stuff. Woo! Got the wand of the Corinthians. Uh, I, I that was a joke that I didn't understand. The achievement was a joke, but I didn't understand it. Coinbase. Sweet. My cryptocurrencies. I can store them safely on Coinbase. Coinbase will never go up. It's too legit. It'll remain stable forever. Alright. Uh, where do I go from here? What? Oh, hey. Yeah, I could kill you all with, with, my, with my gun, but, or, but I could also stab you, and if I get the slow motion at some point... Oh! No! No, 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 no! What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I was like, I can save ammo. I don't have to use ammo here. I can, I can be smart and I can do not what the game wants me to do. They were the little, they were the little gray guys. Little gray guys aren't hard to kill. They're really easy to kill. You can stab them and they die. Roll it back. Yeah, I really wish I had save states right here. <laughs> I'm so glad I used my gun during the boss fight. I was I was gonna get if I got slow motion on one of them, I could have killed like seven of them at once. And then I would have undoubtedly got slow motion again and it would have been fine. Ow. At least you won and proceeded to the next level, right? Right? Yes. That's why I did the stupid thing. It's just that the next level looks a lot like the preceding level. Anyone remember the code? Ah, oh, just smash random buttons again and we'll get it. Used up all of your IQ on that puzzle. I think you mean luck. <laughs> Which, yes, is quite similar to my IQ. To be honest, for me, 
I hate the sweary lady. Fuck. Fuck off. I cannot imagine how difficult this level would be without the wand of Corinthians. This is actually so... No, no, I, 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 don't, I don't get to choose when the slow-mo happens. It just happens sometimes on kills. Jolly, it's not effective to knife 500 men. But imagine how sick it would look if I pulled it off. There's triangle, circle, triangle. Okay. Oh, I gotta remember. I gotta keep up speed. Get them style points. Yeah, there is actually, there is actually like a combo meter. So it would have been super sick. I would have got sick combo points. But... Sometimes, like, health just doesn't want to, doesn't want to be picked up. So you need to stop dodging into axes. Easier said than done. Shotgun's actually the least satisfying thing to use in this game. This is by far David's weakest shotgun, I think. Just in terms of feel. Should have been dead after that fucking second strike. See, when it goes slow motion, I can just rapid fire stab. I was hoping for that, which was foolish of me. That was a mistake, but whatever. know how to beat these guys. Just don't attack them until they're not fucking throwing axes at you. I repeatedly just go, I can hit them. I can hit them now. Isn't the magic wand a shotgun? No, it's it's more like a um, BFG. Very powerful. Jolly wouldn't survive a Last of Us scenario. I live in the country. I survive by default until I die. Probably from, like, some sort of sepsis or something. I'd get a cut and then I'd die. I don't think it's the zombies that would kill me. I'm pretty sure the wand does chain damage. It, it might, but, I mean... I don't think that really matters much here. Ow, fuck. Ow that's health I can't afford to be losing. See what I mean about just being able to stab enemies away? Do you even want to survive a Last of Us scenario? I don't know, you never see what it's like outside of America. Everything could be fine outside of America. Oh, yep, alright, I forgot that there are more of them. Now I have to kill the other one by other ones. This is fine. We can do this. Ah. I'll be fine. There we go. Alright, sweet. This could be worse. We could be in a worse position right now. I'm feeling more and more confident about this not being a failed run. We have the most guns. Yeah, exactly. But also the, the highest propensity for just descending into barbarics out of just about any first world country, I think. Wow. How did you hit me? Unorganized? I mean, that's not even an insult. That's just true. <laughs> but I don't think I've been early to a stream in however many months. Oh god, I really need to go back and get that broomstick. Ammo. I know it's actually the staff. I know it's staff ammo, but I don't know why. I just decided to start calling it the boomstick, and now it's stuck with me. 
because it is a stick that goes boom. Right, sweet. We're back where we were two hours ago. Shame Jolly didn't get the memo. About what? I probably have a nice weekend week and then die peacefully surrounded by trees. Good enough for me. We all know that we die in lamer ways. Like, the chances of us getting eaten by zombies are probably quite low to, oh no, I fell and cut myself. And well, I guess I'm just gonna slowly die. Slowly shrivel up. Because I didn't get a tetanus shot because it's the fucking apocalypse. And, um, well, there's not much else we can really do. I didn't forget the vase. I just, I just did the vase, Outlander. I just did the vase. Let's got all that ammo. Which level is this? Um, I don't know. It's the level that takes way, way, way too long to complete and repeatedly kills you because you're an idiot. I'll just stop using my knife. I just want to use my knife, but I shouldn't use fucking knife. I am playing on the hardest difficulty, which kind of explains a little bit, a little bit of this uh, annoyance that I'm having here. But at the same time, I feel like it's uh, not really on me. Most of my deaths here, it's just unfortunate placing of enemies. And by keys, I mean coins. Not keys. Alright. Here. Oh. 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 And we go up. Uh, no, not this one. It's this one. They're, they're choppy goblins. They're trying to take over the universe or some shit. Maybe. I don't know. Honestly, I think most of their goals revolve around getting cheese, but... Whatever. Did she call me oily? Yet again, that's, it's not so much an insult as this is a fact. I, I have very oily skin. Fuck. 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 Up. Up. Up and on. Up and on. What? The lava doesn't hurt me? Why does the lava not hurt? I don't know. Maybe the game's taking pity on me. I have... I am... I am quite oily. But I'm also... Uh... One of those people that never got acne as a child. Just never. Had like maybe one or two zits. My entire childhood. Alright. Yeah. Fuck, don't run out of ammo. Oh, I ran out of ammo. God damn it. Whoop. But I killed both of them, I think. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> he kind of looks like Jack to Meat Boy, in a way. He looks like if Meat Boy had been lifting. Wash your skin, Jolly. I wash and shampoo on a regular basis. Hell, I even use a facial exfoliator. Like, I... I... I take really good care of my skin. Oh, by the way, guys. Did you know I have fucking super eyes? Went to the eye doctor recently. And, um... <laughs> so, my old doctor's kind of, like, retired. He's, uh, he's, he's taking care of his child and doing a university degree. So I had a new doctor and him sitting down and like testing my eyes and doing the eye test. Um, and I've told you guys this before that I can hit the bottom row because uh, I have like reshaping contacts that basically make my eyes into perfect eyes. Um, and he... He's doing the test, and he's like, just see if you can see, well, like, what, what line can you see here? And I instantly went for the bottom one. He's like, what line can you see here? And I instantly went for the bottom one. He's like, okay, what about the, and then I instantly read it out. And he's like, fucking hell. No, I have, I have better than 2020 eyesight. I have better than 2020 eyesight. Um. Oh, hey, thank you for the code. Um. 
<laughs> it was like, I... You know, I, I don't think I've ever seen somebody ace that test quite that fast. Um, that, that's really impressive. Uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, I think those contacts are working wonders. Like, we're, we're doing good. Also, apparently I don't have dry eyes, but I do have dry eyes when I stare at screens. He says that's that's a possibility. Um, but I don't have regular dry eyes. You memorized the chart. Yeah, totally. That's what I did. Alright. Should I knife the... No. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the knife again. I am doing the knife. I'm doing a little bit of knifing, alright? I got rid of some of them. It's fine. It's my funeral if I fuck up. Wow, I didn't fuck up. And whoop. Yeah. I did it. Yeah. I know I should be like, yes! Woo! But I'm I'm kind of just I'm I'm kind of at the point where it's not even I'm not even feeling accomplished. I feel like we should have completed that like four attempts ago. So I'm just kind of like, yeah, it's done. Ah, <sighs> it's done. <laughs> Jelly, you could have completely refilled your staff. You get ah whatever. The staff's OP anyways. Hey Bavin, thank you for the tier one for seven months. Thanks to a new gamer for my gifted sub. What a sexy jelly bean. Yeah. Hey. Thank you very much for gifting him a sub. Oh shit, Darth Bong. You got this. Just do the thing. I did the thing. I did the thing, Darth Bong. Thank you so much for all your gifted subs. I, last stream, I made a comment which was like, you're kind of overshadowed by, by Illuminati cat. I didn't mean it like that. I Thinking back on it. That was a mean thing to say. It's not a competition. So thank you very much for your gifted subs as always, man. Um, again, you find yourself in a whirlwind of colors. The last thing you heard was the familiar sound of the Aztec time manipulation ta tablet activating. Do I have the tablet? This must be their final dreadful bid for victory. You emerge in a desolate wasteland, a future that is not, but could be. They have transported you to an alternative timeline. A grim sci-fi dystopia where the shop goblins already won. You stand in their vile capital city, chopping grass, <laughs> surrounded by the ruins of human civilization in front of a strange industrial structure that, structure that must be their HQ. You grip the staff, the Corinthians with rage, a world overrun by chop goblins, just means more chop goblins to shoot. It's time for the final battle. I feel like we're really taking on a doom guy kind of persona here. What the fuck did I just do? I'm sorry. I thought I just I took a screenshot on my phone. The hack goblinators are part of the are part goblin, part machine. They have transcended the bounds of flesh and are faster and more cunning than other chop goblins, relentlessly front-lanking their foes and attacking with their deadly laser cleavers. O okay. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Pretty. Ooh, and the music. Neat. Oh, boy. Okay, going straight into the bullshit, huh? Yep. Well, at least the laser axes are really easy to see. Fuck. Right. <laughs> I like the music a lot. I really like the music. Whoa. Seems almost like a theme for like being on a pirate ship. Is it just me? Is he gone? He's gone. All right. Alright. Oh, a toilet. Can I flush it? <laughs> I really like that. I really like that. I like the cut of this developer's jib. I like it a lot. <laughs> I'm 
actually. It's like a low-res version of Half-Life 2. Yes, everything is like Half-Life in Half-Life 2. Possibly because my main point of reference is Half-Life. Everything is a Half-Like. If you've only played Half-Life mods for the past seven years of your life. Functional toilets. Yes, even sideways toilets. This sounds like... Cyber Pirates of the Caribbean. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Any of this? I really don't use my shotgun much at all. God, I forgot there's the pirate smiley emote. Such a strange choice for an emote. But it's Twitch. They definitely have more useless emotes. Uh, where the fuck do I go from here? Pogchamp sucks now. Pogchamp had to go. For good reason. Why, why do I feel like that's something? It's not something. It's because the original Pogchamp was a fucking madman. He was just fucking crazy, dude. I'm trying to, like, mouse movement with the music, but I'm not doing a good job of it. T. Um, where the f- Okay, genuinely have no idea. I must be something in the center, right? I'll just throw that again. You know, I can't stay mad at you. I can't stay mad at you, game. If I don't know what I have to do- Oh, here we go! That could have been slightly better signposted, but I'm not mad my eyes. It's rare that video games even make me use my eyes anymore. Okay, I can definitely pick up this as, like, ammo at some point, can't I? Whoa! Oh, down I go, I guess. Woo! Neat. Uh, now we're getting, like, Tronny? Oh. Okay. Uh, shotgun time. I can use up all my shotgun ammo because I never fucking use it otherwise. God, it is. Trying to see what I'm shooting is not easy here. The orange on, like, yellow and the crosshairs, it just all blends together. It's not easy on the eyes. I'm about to have to restart this mission, aren't I? Fucking sick, I won't. Whoa! <laughs> Turns out I'm not sick, I'm just a healthy little boy. <sighs> Didn't you say you had specialized? Yes, it doesn't stop it doesn't stop the fucking color bukaki from being a little bit a little bit bad on the eyeballs. Makes things difficult to see. I can see things at long distances. It doesn't mean I can see fucking One slightly different colored object from another sitting right next to one another. Why do the goblins sound like that? Because there's future sci fi goblins? And that's what future sci, sci fi goblins sound like. It's like, come on. Never, never had a conversation with a future sci fi goblin before? I don't like this level design. Can you go back to the previous one? I, yeah, I do like the previous one more as well. This one's very muddy. Um, although, I do feel like more video games should have an autumn, like, theme. There aren't many video games that actually, like, take you to a place and it's like, oh, it's this lush forest in autumn, so there are leaves everywhere and, like, everything's, like, different colours of red and orange. is too low, Jolly. The game is way louder than you. I feel like you're the first person to complain about that today, but we, we can change it if you like. Oh. I regret looking up Bukaki. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, sorry, was my comment about it there being a bukkake of color on the screen? Just wondered what that was about. Tyler McVicker? What do you mean, Tyler McVicker? Wow, had to learn someday. Yeah, I guess. It's not even, it's not even like Impreg or something. It was just Bukaki. Come on. Come on. Her face. All of you. There you go. That's what a Bukaki is. Summoning the, summoning the demon by saying his name. Tyler wanted to collab with me at some point. But, whoop. Away he goes. Uh, he never got back to me about what we were actually going to do. Uh, so I think that ship has sailed. I don't know. I don't know whether there is a huge fan of me talking shit about Alex. Um. Ah, I got a bunch of one charges, so I'm probably supposed to use those against these guys around the corner, which would make sense. That would make a lot of sense. And in fact, that's exactly what I was supposed to do there. Yeah, that that's a lot. That's a lot easier than trying to fight them all one by one. made by David Simans? Yes, it was. It's a fun little game he made. Uh, last year? I, I, I imagine during COVID. It's released in like late 2020. Uh, late 2022. Yeah, I'm not sure how the yeah, I think this gun works really. Hey, that's a good idea. Hey, thanks, Lawrence. You say you're Sir you Gundam for my gifted sub. 24 months and I've never paid for a single one. Jesus Christ, God damn it, Sir Gundam. <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence has got me in enough shit that he deserves to pay me some money at some point. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Lawrence, Lawrence, has, Lawrence has started up enough fucked up conversations that he deserves to pay me a cent or two. So Gundam added again. Yeah. Bankrolling all the weirdos. Not that I don't appreciate you being here, sir, uh, Lawrence. Not that I don't appreciate you being here at all. It's just, you know. You know. You, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't need a car to clarify for Lawrence. Kaki is great. 20 out of 21 people enjoy it. I'm pretty sure... I feel like some people are really good at making bad jokes and then me wanting to point out the inaccuracies of their bad jokes so we can get a, the conversation of the ball rolling. The, bo the, the ball rolling of the conversation. I'm pretty sure everybody enjoys it. I'm pretty sure the girl is into it as well. I'm pretty sure she's a big fan. Although, later on in the shower, I'm sure she's like, This shit's just everywhere! It's in my hair! The fuck is Bukaki? Is it some kind of shit? <laughs> Don't look up Bukaki. Oh no, the poor innocent people in my chat. Oh, a lot of people are learning a lot today. To be fair, if you're in my chat, you've probably heard worse shit than this. Don't immediately shower. Use it for something else, bro. Yo, so, funnily enough, now this is secondhand information, so it might be complete bullshit, but I have heard that, um, uh, Sperm is a fucking fantastic mood agent. Apparently, sperm, uh, it, it like actually releases dopamine and, and makes you feel good. Um, if if digested, and is also great for for like face care and stuff. Whereas, um, it's the least sexy way to put it possible, but vaginal discharge is, is uh, basically makes dudes super fucking subservient. Um, it, it apparently releases a bunch of like, uh, 
a bunch of hormones that basically make dudes kind of like chilled out, relaxed, and laid back. Um, which is weird. Stop. No, seriously, this isn't... Go look it up. It's seriously a thing. It's nuts. Oh, it's not nuts. It's the sperm. The sperm comes out of the nuts, but it's crazy. It just keeps going. <laughs> the fuck is this talk? I don't know, but apparently cum guzzlers are probably pretty happy people. And dudes that give heads head to girls are pretty chilled out. Please provide your sources. Just Google it. Google is your friend. I, I'm not here to back up my claims. What do you think I am? Some sort of... Some sort of... Internet personality that has... Has the ability to sped false information incredibly easily. It sounds like a tumble post. It does, but apparently it is actually true. Which is nuts to think. Oh, and, um, you know, uh, there's also, um, eating ass is really, really great for your digestive system. Um, and, uh, mental well-being. I made that one up. I made that one up. But the other two, I'm pretty sure, are true. Oh, God. They come from reputable sources. Which is, I heard this other dude streaming talk about it, and I was like, oh! And he's a pretty reputable dude. Charlie did no. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't worry. Don't worry, it was a joke. Eating ass just makes you a little kinky. Gotta share that gut flora, Omega Wolf. That is actually a thing. The fact poop transfers are actually a thing now and scientific is weird. The fact somebody will be like, ah, oh, well. Your gut's kind of fucked up. Guess we better put somebody else's shit inside of you. Such a crazy thought. Nice to meet you too. You also want to talk about... about eating body fluids? Pod is gone. No, what do you mean? Pod isn't gone. Wait, did you watch Dr. Karen's video on it? No, no, I've just, I've, I've seen many a post and an article about fecal transplants. Jolly, ooh, no, but it's true. It's an actual thing. Straight up, if, if you, if you, if you lose your gut biome, they will, uh, what? Hey, guys. <laughs> nice to meet you too, person on the other side of that wall. Chat, let him cook. I, 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 I'm serious. Do you remember the Food Critic South Park episode where at the end they added boogers and cum to the Food Critic's food and it even has... I don't, I don't remember that. I, I don't watch much South Park. Should I attack these guys? Like... Oh. Sure. Why not? They're, um... A goblin bot farm. Spreading false information or something. Or also a sick combo. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, hey buddy. <laughs> Stab you through the giant electric force field. I feel like sticking metal into a force field is a bad idea. Jelly, I can't find anything online about vag vaginal dis... Charge as a mood enhancer. Oh, well then, oh fuck, I really hope I wasn't. I really hope they weren't talking shit and being like, trying to be amusing. Because I genuinely thought they were being truthful and they said it in such like a, a normal manner. Um. Not, not so much a mood enhancer as it, as it like chills you out. Can we go back to talking about fanboys? <laughs> why does why does this always happen? I swear I don't lead the conversation in this way. It's you guys. People bitch about me and it's chat. CBT. We're not talking about CBT. Something about people with matching pheromones being attracted to certain people. Uh, isn't that immune systems? 
Is it, hasn't it got to do with immune system? Ah, oh, where the fuck do I go? Ah, oh, it's gotta be a button in that... That goblin room, right? Where's that goblin room that we were just at? Please, let's talk about cats and dogs. Alright. Which one do you think's more attractive? A cat or a dog? <laughs> Which one would you rather fuck, chat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean it. I don't mean it. I don't want to start up that conversation because we all know Cat, right? <laughs> it's so obvious. Ah, no. Fuck. What would I go from here? What do I go from here? I don't know. Your streamer, everyone. Yeah, look, I can't can't not go for that, right? I don't want to die by walking into that. It's gotta be something I'm missing. <laughs> Smash or pass Digimon Edition. Yeah, Markiplier did fucking Smash or pass Pokemon. And I'm not, I'm not allowed, I'm not allowed to talk about Vaginal Discharge. Come on! It's Markiplier, family-friendly, fucking scared tuber gamer, and I and I say I say fucking CBT once, and chat goes, Jay, stop it! My two-year-old brother is watching, and his five-year-old niece. Where's the one million end stream redeem? Oh, that's a good idea. So you know somebody will just fuck with me and redeem it right at the start of the stream. Where the fuck do I go genuinely? Oi! Oh, this is very 90s. Some of this level of design is very 90s. Family friendly. Bro, he has an OnlyFans. Yeah, but he started out as family friendly. Cat or dog? <laughs> No, as in which one would you rather be petting right now? A cat or a dog? That's, that's where we're going with this! New question, new question. Which one would you rather pet right now? Which one, which furry friend would you rather have? Seeing next to you just purring or barking away. <laughs> I like to be stroking a pussy cat. <laughs> Oh god. Right. Am I dead? Oh, I thought I was dead for a second there. I was about to be so pissed. It's like, I cannot, I cannot do another level. I cannot repeat another level. I refuse. Is there health? There is health. Uh, fuck off. Oh, what? No more of that. Wait, yes, a bit more of that. Just we'll have more of more ammo for it. Just use more of this. Fuck. Fuck. Get fucked. Get fucked. Yes, here we go. Whoa! No, 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 five health, five health. I need it. I need health. I need health. I need health so badly. Oh, fuck. I'm fucked! Ah! Okay. Charlie's the kind of guy to finish digging a pitfall trap and walk straight into it. Yeah, for the funny bit. do with a couple of checkpoints, David. I know, I know you want you want to make it difficult to just sort of jump straight back into it, but fuck, man. Sorry, focusing on the game. Don't want to die. 
though. Not, not that it would really matter if I died here. Right. Just gonna blast on through this quickly. What? You think your lured Mark managed to censor his Honey Pop 2 playthrough so fucking much the age that YouTube didn't age restrict his playthrough of Candy Crush with two women. Yeah, it's Mark's Mark's champ like that. He also has a team of people working with him. Most big YouTubers don't edit their own videos. Like, it's something that... Oh, fuck. Something that a lot of people don't recognize, that a lot of big YouTubers mostly just play the games now. Like, once you get to a certain critical mass, you don't have to edit anymore. Unless, you know, you're a auteur and want to make something special and not just... Oh my god, this happened in Sons of the Forest 2! It's a new hotness, everybody's playing. And it has some, like, fancy text on the screen and stuff. Who puts fancy text on the screen? Making it jump around and stuff and do fancy shit. Fucking losers. Can't be funny without their stupid text on the screen. It's the only reason they do it, it's because they're not funny. If you don't have text on the screen. It gives gives their zoom the viewers something to look at. Air horn's mandatory. No 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 no. No no no. Hold on. Air horns are cool kids. That's why I use them all the time. No, seriously though, what what it, there's there's a certain type of of YouTube video that's become very common. I appreciate the ones that put text on the screen. I actually really do. I think it's I think it's real neat. I was trying to go for a joke there, but I fucked up the joke, so we're just, we're just pivoting to actual conversations about YouTube videos. But it's I think it's when that wow sound effect rocks up that I immediately tune out of just about any video I'm watching. It's that like girl saying wow. And then, like, the zoom in and, like, the speed lines. It's like... Uh, uh, cat or dog? Jolly? <laughs> Wait, what were the poll answers? Cat, Cthulhu, ferret, dog, jolly? Question mark. Yeah, that's fair. Mostly because it's a tired meme. Yeah, but... I just... I feel like a lot of YouTubers don't edit their videos anymore, and while editors can do a pretty good job, after a while, if they're not careful, they forget, like, the things that make editing easier, right? Some people just forget the things that are like, oh, I need to set up this shot properly, so I'm gonna do this, and I need to make sure that I make this easier for the editor and post, and they just sort of do their thing, and then just be like, yeah, the editor will fix it later. And when you're the editor, you go, Ah, oh, okay, I need to make sure whenever I'm doing this, that I, I make it as easy as possible for when later on, when I'm doing, when I'm editing this, for me to cut here and cut around this and do an intro for this, because I might be doing this later and stuff like that. Um, and some people just forget about that and they don't do it anymore. And then suddenly their videos suffer as a result because the editor's trying to edit around their bullshit. Um, and, and doesn't have, doesn't have quite the, uh, can't, can't quite get the edit that they want because the streamer or the content creator isn't quite doing things in a way that makes it easier for the editor. I think the wow sound has died down. I still see it occasionally. What the fuck's down here? Whoa. Geez. Goodbye. Fuck. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. Wow, they load you up with ammo for this thing, huh? You're not talking about yourself, are you, Jolly? Because this VOD is fucked. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, no, there's no, there's no way I'm edit- I'm not making anything out of this. I was thinking about it at the start, but it, it's- it's a boomer shooter. Screw Stapler gave you so much downtime to talk about shit. This, I, I'm, uh, yet again, you you, te you can tell when I'm doing something for a video and when I'm not. Depending on how much I focus on concentrating on talking about the, the game. 
first hour of any stream is probably going to be a, quite focused on the game. And if, if I think, mm, yes, I could do something with this, I will probably... I will probably continue to act that way. But if I don't think I can, like here, this, this has had so many repeats and restarts and it is not quite enough to talk about. I just... I'm just having fun. It's just a chill stream, yeah. I can't control whether something's content or it isn't. Um, I can only make content that I'm going to make better by, you know, focusing more on the game. But this is just... This isn't one of those games that really lends itself to my style of content. Honestly, I'm blown away Screw Stapler was, was made by David. It's, I guess it's because it was for a horror pack, so it's much more um, slow and narrative focused, which Dave quite obviously isn't a huge fan of. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm not dead. I didn't die. Oh, this is the first time I've caught you live. Oh! Yes, no, this is a weird one to catch me live for. Um. Uh, Dai Katana next week may be more narrative focused. Yes, sorry, this is a very strange stream. These streams only sort of happen because, well, not everything can be content. Iron Lung is narrative focused, but it's also, uh, I don't know, maybe I will try Iron Lung. Maybe I will try Iron Lung. Oh, hey. <laughs> Destroy the Cyber Goblin to set things right. Oh, okay. Is this gonna be a boss fight, or? Oh, no, nope, just, just that, huh? <laughs> Why do you look like Zordon? You emerge gra uh, gasping from the time portal back in the museum basement. Your own time, just as you'd left it. Lord of the Chop Goblins, you glance frantically out the window. The streets are miraculously undestroyed and unshopped. The nightmare is over. Then your eye catches something on the in the corner. Then your eye catches something in the corner. The dusty old chest that had imprisoned the Chop Goblins is still there, and still open. The Chop Goblins are still out there somewhere, waiting for the opportunity to chop again. Interesting. Final score, friend leaderboard. 677! In the world? If so, I am very... I am happy with that. Penis music. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, this is penis music. But this is, this is, yeah. Not penis music that I would use, though. Occasionally, when, when Vinny points out penis music, I'm like, hmm, I could use that in a video somewhere. 677 in your friends list. That, I mean, possibly. I don't think I have 677 friends. Oh man, that is real penis music. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the same as... Oh, it's a slightly different song than this. 677 out of all players? It's very possible. Again, I was playing on the hardest difficulty, so I imagine I had a, a higher multiplier on all my shit. No, I think the numbers are global standings. Dude, if I'm 677 worldwide, you fuckers better stop talking shit about my FPS playing skills. Thank you very much. My FPS playing skills are fine. Thank you very much. 677, and I didn't even really complete the last level properly. Gotta to get top 100 in Funny Goblin, Goblin Game. That is... Possible? 777 of a game which maybe only a thousand people played. I think it's been slightly more than that. It has, 
it has over 1,230 reviews. So, I don't think every single person that played this game has left a review. Because I'm not going to be leaving a review. So, there are at least 1,231 people. And that would still put me at about the 50% mark. Pretty sure it doesn't have online tracking. Then where did it get the 677 number from? I don't have that many friends. There are five people playing it right now. Damn. Leave a review. That's ah, David. He's fine. Oh, there's other stuff. What else is what else has David played? What what else has he made? Iron Lung. No, 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 no. I want to see the, the entire bundle. Complete your Steam collection. Add to cart. So what, what, what options are? No, 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 no. I don't want to... I want to, I want to see this more. So I hit bundle info. Oh. Oh, interesting. Finger bones? <laughs> yeah. You get it. Um, a wolf in autumn? Well, I don't know who autumn is, but that's bestiality. The music machine, silver moon, iron lung. I might as well buy and play all of these, huh? The squirrel stapler one? Yes, that's him. That's the reason I was playing Chop Goblins. I guess we can play these. I guess we'll probably play these next weekend. So is this David guy, he made Dusk, one of the premiere kind of boomer shooters of like 2015-ish, where it was like just starting to become a thing again, um, made a shit zillion dollars off of it. Um, yeah, that's that. Might play a little bit of um, FTL before we go, I guess. Jolly won't review. We should stop leaving likes and follows. Look, David is fine without my review. And my review would probably just be, yeah, it's good. Nobody's going to re read that and go, mm, yes, I'm going to buy this game now. Wow, he thought it was good. This random internet man thought it was good. Wow. Finger Bones is free. Yeah, so I'll, I'll probably play all these later. Blood and Goblins? Blood and Goblins bundle. If you own either Iron Lung or Chop Goblins, you can get the other game for an additional 10% off. If you don't own either one. Oh, that's very cool. I lost my virginity. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Way to brag about it. So what? So what? One day I'll find a special lady. It doesn't make you special. Try not to dwell on it. Hey, thank you, Dr. Octagonopus94 for the five tier one subs. Is this the 24 hour stream you promised us? No, 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 not today. Thank you. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs, man. Really. Thank you very much for that. This has been a weird ass stream. I've been loving it. Hey, thanks. I'm glad. <laughs> Um, I've really not been sure about my streams lately because I feel like I hasn't been so much a me thing. Like I finally figured out how to make sure my eyes aren't fucked. So I, I'm rarely going, oh, I'm sorry guys. Just today I can't really, like I'm not getting that anymore, but I feel like I haven't found any like solid content for like four weeks. And it's starting to get to the point where I'm like, am I the problem? Can I, is it me? And then I think back to, uh, hazardous course which is possibly some of the best content I have ever recorded and I go no wait hold on it's fine <laughs> it's fine we're fine nothing's changed I haven't started taking like hard drugs I haven't fucked up my dopamine I haven't haven't damaged Greetings, myself in some brother. way um, and shit like that makes makes me feel way better about myself so thank you very much Dr. Octogonopus um, nice weather we're having uh, really uh, Penguin Boy, is, is this like a... Oh boy, I don't know what to say. Got to say something in his chat. 
Or is it more of just a, wow, this is a boring topic of conversation. Let's move on. Enough of talking about your insecurities. Your insecurities are boring. It's boring us, Jolly. You're boring us. Um, hey, thank you, Tommy Tom. For 12 months. Congratulations on a year, Tommy Tom. Think about it this way. If you were a baby, you'd be coming out your mum's... No, you wouldn't. You'd be two months out your mother's vagina. Three months! So you'd be shitting your pants, crying, and making everybody's life a little bit worse, but also making everybody else's life a little bit better. I know how babies work. Shut up. Don't laugh at me. I know they come out of your mother's vagina that's located somewhere near their asshole. No, 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 it is. Hazardous course. Derpy. It, it, it was only like a week or two ago. Like four weeks ago. Five weeks ago. Which is like two weeks ago, but you know, double it. I know the perfect game. What is it? Nothing is boring. Everything is boring. Well, nothing is boring. You're right. Nothing is boring. Uh, La Mulana. It's all puzzles, death traps, and bosses. Hmm. Oh, you see, the problem I have with this stuff is I'm, I'm good at 3D. I am terrible. I am terrible at 2D. Did I just Google search while all of you could see what was going on? What, what, how did that work? Oh, thank God. I just used the, the auto search option. Thank God. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't do side scrolling. Honestly, I hate La Mulana and I love Metroidvanias. I got gifted a code for one of them recently. I gave it to my friend, which is possibly not what they want to hear, the people who gave me that code. It was like, it looked like Hollow Knight, but underwater. And I was like, huh, I'm never going to play this. Here, have it. <laughs> How about 2.5D? Um, I I'm just bad at them. Like, I have no problem with playing them. You saw me play Spelunky. You saw me play Spelunky. That was not good. Jolly, do you plan on playing Just Cause 3? A uh, problem I have with the Just Cause games is... I feel like after the first one, they just became YouTuber bait. And I, I more enjoy playing a very serious game or or something wacky and zany that's that's just trying to be if i'm playing something wacky and zany i want it to be something wacky and zany that i'm showing the world and sort of like it's not just jolly's reaction to this thing that everybody else has played um and if it's not wacky and zany i want to be adding in my own comedy and humor into a um this is really just getting into how I like to create content, but I like adding my own zany sort of wacky self into a serious and grounded story. So for example, like playing fear and just deciding eventually just to punch my way through the entire game and making it hilarious. Um, Shantae is good. Yeah, I, I have no problem with 2D. Uh, yet again, I don't think there's many actually bad games out there. Well, okay, actually there's a lot more bad games than there are. Uh, that's the argument I make for music. I don't know what I'm talking about. Can we just play some FTL and then I'll head off? I I'm doing a bad job at talking right now. Fear is the best. Oh, I have so much fun playing that. I had so much fun playing that. As soon as I figured out that Melee was so busted, um, I, just, I just went ham. I want to play Fear 2 at some point. Play it with the new ship. Will do. Give me an hour or two of this and I'll be off. What is the FTL about? Uh, Faster Than Light. It's a roguelite game that is really, really addictive and really, really fun. And I really need to install that fucking mod for it, don't I? Still pissed you drop kicked Alma. 
Jolly, you can't do it. Everybody was screaming at me. Everybody was like, Jolly, you're wasting everybody's time right now. This is like the eighth time you've tried to kick her in the face. You can't do it. You can't do it. And then I just get the double fly kick jumping at stupid fucking Alma's face. It was great. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, part of the fear stream that you can't put up on YouTube for reasons. Um, technically not, but I am kind of embarrassed about that stream. I started off really poorly, so I might make a video on it one day. One day? Because, funnily enough, there was, um... I honestly think FTL is more roguelike than roguelite. The only meta... So you unlock ships, which are really just different kinds of runs, not more powerful runs, which is a key feature of roguelikes. Yes, I am being anal about definitions. Words have meaning for reasons. Dude, do they really anymore? If you ask, if you ask just about anybody, even hardcore gamers, the difference between a roguelite and a roguelite, they're going to go, uh, mm, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, and they, then you're going to walk in, push up your fucking nerd glasses up on your nose to go, the difference is, yeah. not that you're wrong, but you know, nerd. Uh, this will just be one run. I've got a bit of a headache, so I might just go grab some, uh, I think I'm, should I use the FTL music as my Be Right Back screen music? Because this music is chill as fuck. Um, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some Panadol and, and, and then we'll be back.
Oh, hey. Bop, 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 beep, boop, bop. Hey, what's up, everyone? She is the best. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Jelly, what the fuck? I don't know what you're referring to, but thanks to the 100 bits, Tommy. And Dr. Octopon, of goods. It's not your name, but it's the way I would imagine a two-year-old would say your name. Um, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. How many ships does he unlock now? Three! Also, I don't know why there are people out there that are really interested in seeing me play, um... Uh... <sighs> Iron Lung. I, I, not that I have anything against it. It's just one of those games where I'm like, sure, David made this as well, and it's a horror game, but... It's not Squirrel Stapler. Actually catch your stream. Yeah, I actually catch your stream and you're playing FTL. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we just finished up Chop Goblins, which is a cool boom shooter. You and your playstyle remind me a bit of Sips, which is intended as a compliment. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Sips is funny. Sips is cool. I. I just, I just want to entertain. That's all I want to do, man. Although, alternatively, you're currently talking about the way I play FTL, which is completely unrelated to that, which is... Wow, that's a... <laughs> oh, wow, I really ruined that camera angle, didn't I? This is on my screen a little bit. It's a little too low. Stop. With upgrading your doors against intruders. No. Let's play. How do you carry is vital for the Federation fleet. Yep. So basically, we have to go uh, give our important information about the rebels and how they're evil to the fleet before the evil rebels get there. Because they're evil bad men. Distress! Hooray! Fun for everyone, except for the person in distress. But who cares about them? They might give me stuff. Because they're so happy that I stopped them being in distress. But an NG debuff in return. What do you mean? Level dos to two, but one level one engine? I don't understand what you're saying, Derpy. Distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire. Their repair crew can't approach it without being fired upon. They're looking to help fix or disable it. I'll help. Pew pew pew! I'm gonna shoot at it. Hooray! I did it! You f <laughs> Uh... A few volleys from a distance, and it's clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. Now, what else, what else was I possibly going to do? Repair it. I don't have any nerds aboard. Chucked out the airlock. Jocks only on this ship. Um. Uh. Hello, Mr. Streamer. Hi, how's it going? Uh, you can call me just Streamer for short if you want. Uh. I, I gotta repair... What what exactly is that? Repairs your hull every time you collect scrap? It reduces the scrap you collect by 15%? I don't know whether that's worth it. Oh, hey, what? I, oh, I get extra power for each one of these people in this system. Right, so I want to immediately find somebody to put on... Um, Piloting so I can move him down to shields and get an extra power for shields. Worth. It is. That's a super good one. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh, that's a juicy fucking relay oh right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good luck for this run, Jolly. Thank you. Not that you would need it or anything, smiley face. No, never. It's not like I've been killed repeatedly by terrible luck. Never, no. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. The nearby pirates seem to have advan ad advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. You move into attack. All right. Pew pew. Um, pull out of that one, and then do triple pew pew. Hooray. Oh, I still don't have enough for Leto. Whatever. Halberd beam. Beam? 
Two shots per hit. Man, I should level up my... I can't level up my guns. Whatever. Let's give this a shot. What? Oh. Uh... Oh, I've literally never used one of these guns before. Cool! No, 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 that's dumb. Nope, 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 that's also dumb. That to there. Interesting. Did he rename the characters? Oh, no, I didn't. I need to do that. I didn't do that. Alright, now we just sit here, twiddling our thumbs, being like, wow. Sure is beautiful being out in space. I hope I don't die in it. Zap, zap, zap. Oh, that's not good. Should I be using Leto instead? Jolly! Hello, mate. How are you? I thought you were about to say, Jolly, you're doing something stupid. You haven't turned on power to something. Oh, wow. This is boring. <laughs> FDLs is this great game where you're like constantly like trying to get through space and uh, you know, doing things all the time. It's really fun. You should stick around and watch it. And then this is their first interaction with the game. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, their shields are back up. I should probably just be hitting them with rockets, shouldn't I? Beams are stopped by shields and don't reduce shields. I'm pretty sure it reduced the shield before, did it not? Hey, look. It's reducing their shield. It's fucking them up. Oop. Summary of your weapons. A beam laser goes through shields. Reduce the damage from one for every shield the enemy has. And a weak rocket, too. So I should upgrade to be able to fire my weak rocket. Should I not? Wow, that beam's real good. Yoink. Thank you very much. So I should just, like, get one of them, and then I can have enough to put in both. Reminds me of Cosmonia. It's really good. It's really good. And leads to some wacky hijinks later on. I'm still mad about that run where I had my rock man and we just man managed to get so far with just one dude. And then we just got fucked up by stupid fucking rockets out of nowhere. Bullshit. Such bullshit, man. Yeah, you can rocket the shields, yeah. Alright, yes. Pirate ship. Fuck you, pirate ship. Uh. Mm, zappity zap. Ooh, zappity zap. Yes, that's good. I think. I'm not sure if it's good. Yes, take out the shields. That is good. Neat. Nice. Albert is good, but you need lasers to break shields. What about if I just rocket their shields? Yup, oh, that's not good. That is good. Woo! Alright, they're fucked. We'll be fine. Hey, you get in here and fix this up, please. Oh. Yep, they're fucked. There's no way they get away. There's no way they get away. That halberd beam better fucking just do it. Yes, thank god. No shields, this seems like a jelly run. Look, I, I will shield it. I will shield it up later. In a second. Get that shield back up. Where are my shields? Oh, god damn it. Come on, get shields back up. Why are shields not on? Why are my shields not on? For fuck's sake. Fix this shit up. Fix this shit up. Yep, I need to do this immediately. There we go. Not enough power? What do you mean there's not enough power for shields? Okay, there we go. And now, you guys down in here, bring you guy in here. While I'm here, Jolly, would you like a quote of the day? Short thing. Why are my shields down again? What is going on with my... I don't care that we don't have any oxygen. I need fucking goddamn... Oh, what the fuck? The... Oh. Fix it. Fix the problem. Hmm... To sound three seconds ahead for anybody else. Refresh. Refresh the page. I should fix it. I don't know how else I'd have it. I can't, I, can't, I can't talk without moving my mouth. I really need to get better at talking without moving my mouth. Jelly not understanding. I understand now. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We only lost a bunch of hull for no fucking reason. Alright. Ooh, distress! Hooray! Stress is always fun. 
As soon as you arrive, stress signal a shot of fire towards your ship. A trap. Oh no. Um, use Leto immediately to hit their shields and then Halber Beam. Where's the... No, 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 Okay. Leave that one on, hit their shields, and then use Halberd Beam. You start with a shit reactor because your guys give it power. Oh, okay. Now out of that, and then that, and then that to that. Nailed it. What? Where'd my rocket go? My rocket doesn't go through their shields? Rockets don't go... My rocket doesn't go through their shields? Why did it not ignore their shields? Well, shit. Uh, yeah, I should probably upgrade my reactor, shouldn't I? Dalton start with a big magical shield that blocks everything? Did I already lose my big magical shield that blocks everything? Did, did I did I miss shields? Yes. How did I lose that? How did I lose that? Fuck. H how did that happen? Man, I need to stop. I, I I this is my only run. I I'm not paying attention at all at this point. Better run, boy. It's fine. We're fine. He's gonna run. Um, then it's gonna die. Because he can't run. Green shields absorb five damage from any source. They attacked it. Oh. So what you're saying is I'm already kind of fucked. Ship has been hot yet, yeah, so um am I am I already fucked? Um Nah, fuck, whatever. I'm gonna go with that. They now have more power. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Oh, get out, get out, get out, don't die. You and Zoltan enemies have Zoltan shields. Block everything for a few hits. I think it's rechargeable, peri recharges periodically every battle. Okay, that makes sense. Maxwell needs to heal as well. You want to hit as many rooms as possible for max damage. Gotcha. All right, here we go. This is good because now I can now I can get both of those running at the same time. Um, I'm gonna go here. Thank you again, Roko PPI for the thousand bits. I really can't thank you enough. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not paying your fucking toll. You're not. There's no toll here. This is space. Space is free. You're not you're not keeping the space highways fucking running, little bitch. That one. Then you want to hit as many rooms as possible, apparently. Nope. Uh, well, then maybe that? No. Surely, whoops. Surely I'd want to do this. And then also hit shields. There we go. Shields have been forgotten. Oh no! Fix the problem. I know how to manage Look at that. Let me go. I now have I now have everything I need. Except oxygen. Which who needs oxygen, really? Breath is for winners. We, we will breathe when we have fucked them up. Yeah. Alright, we got this. Bam. Now they've got no shields, and now we just beam them to death. Whoop. N no, no, I want your stuff. Woo. Wow, okay. That was a good idea, I think. Yeah, sweet. Alright, and now I should probably go for, for more power. So I can I can actually run my shields. Yeah, did it. He has no idea how the halberd works, does it? Does he? 
and fucks things up. Of course I know how it works. I just killed somebody with it. Of course I know how it works. Roughly. Generally. A general idea for how it works. Another person being like, oh yeah, we're fucking space... Space tax collectors. Give us your money for the space IRS. Fuck you. Not happening. Space taxes. Who do you think you are? Space is free. Oh, this is gonna fuck them up, ain't it? This way. Bam, there we go. Fuck yes. Wait for guys with good shields. Laser is gonna be useless. Not if I buy some really good rockets to augment my sick laser. Oh, really? Oh, they missed as well. Well, that's awkward. Both just sitting here twiddling our thumbs. You missed it. Wow. Okay, well, this is... That's a lot of fuel. Well, you know what, surrenders. These people are trying to be fucking... Space government. Fuck the space government. Wait, I'm part of the space government. Fuck this attempt at a sham space government. Actually, I think it's just a scam, but whatever. Fuck him. Oh, achievement unlocked. Shields holding. Oh, I went I went for a I went for a whole round without losing my shields. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Well, I actually really, really wish. I'd taken their surrender offer, but I got an achievement. Um. Right. Now let's go. Here, here, here. Eh, whatever. An angle of beam to just barely clip a room corner. It still does the two damage. Ooh, I didn't know that. Your jump leads to nothing but empty space. This junk be jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connector. What? Bullshit. Boring. Uh, you arrive to find a pulsar dominating the view screen. You see a small silhouette passed in front of the star, but before you can ponder what it is, signal uh, warning signals go off. It appears to be a ship firing. A ship in firing trajectory. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, this might suck. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I realize that Halibut Beam is a lot of fun. And also, occasionally, will make you just cream your fucking pants when you can do shit like this. That's gonna be so good! One, two, oh, I can hit five rooms? Oh, I could probably hit five as well, couldn't I? Hold on. There. Yeah! Yeah. Yes, and shields are down! Yes! Eat dick! That rocket was unnecessary. But fuck yes! Sweet. That won't matter. That doesn't affect me, does it? No, it does stop my... ability to fly away. That's why I won with this ship. Okay, makes sense. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's jump to the exit. Oh man, I could have got so much more out of this system. I thought it was I thought it was like uh, the amount of time that the laser spends in a certain room is how much damage it would do. So I thought it would be like it does one damage here and then the next one does more and then the next one does more. It was like the longer it stays in that room. Because that makes sense, right? That's how it should work, but it doesn't work like that. Alright, let's go. Debris from a battle scattered around this system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. Passively scan them and discover a functional weapon among them. I just got free gun. A small bomb. Which... S-bomb. Teleporting bomb ignores you. Well, that's... Useful? I can just... Launch that into their shields? But it does no normal damage. Hold on, what? Explosive bomb, target systems and crew, but not the hull. G no, no, that's sick. That's really useful. So I should, I should use that. <laughs> I 
no, no, then that's a bad idea. I mean, theoretically, we could do it, but that's a bad idea. Teleport bombs cannot by bypass green shields, can miss, and do no hold out damage. Yeah, but still, for how cheap it is, I see no reason not to. I mean, and it'll disable most shields. How often am I going to run into green shields? Like... NG, Uncharted Nebula. Uncharted Nebula, why not? Space Grape Shot. No, no, that's not S-Bomb, is it? Nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all these jump beacons would have been no easy task. However, it's hardly now it's hardly navigable. Okay, interesting. Now, drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or perhaps they're seeking to use this ne nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hospital. hospital. <laughs> it identifies me as hospital. <laughs> My ability to talk has been greatly diminished this stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a long stream. Daylight savings has just kicked in. No shields or engines will be our downfall. It'll be fine. We got super shields. Look, we're fine. We're fucking this guy up. And then we do beam laser, and then he dies. And then we waste a rocket, because of course we do. Yoink. Free stuff. Hooray. No, I won't do that. Undo. Um. Let's go here. I see Jelly wants the Gambit in the Uncharted Nebula. I don't know what I'm doing. I just wanted to give it a shot. You nervously glance out the window, but only things around you are more clouds and silence. Oh. Store! Uh, but not, let's not go there yet. Let's go here, here, store. And then from the store, up oh, here, 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 store. That way. Might be possible to hit four rooms on those. Not that you need to. Uh, Black Market's Weapon Trader... Spins you a tale of dangers in the ne nebula before pushing his wares. It's like it's like a it's like a it's like a loot box, guys. It's like could could be anything. It could be great. It could, it could be. It could be it could be a halberd laser, dude. Guys, imagine if it was a halberd laser. Dude, that'd be so sick. He transfer over the scrap, but he reneges on the agreement. I was told- I told you this was a dangerous place. Learn a valuable lesson to move on- No, fuck you! What?! We didn't even get a weapon?! What are you, fucking EA? Fuck you! Give me- give me my weapon! I want my weapon! Fucking god damn it! Fuck you! Give me my scrap back, you bitch! As I said, gamble. Bullshit! It's not gambling if I don't get anything out of it. That's exactly what gambling is. It's still bullshit. I don't like it. Yeah, no! That's not even- You're not even giving me- <laughs> We surrender. Here's all we have. Well, I just gave you 45 scrap. Uh, but- this, we, we ate it. We were hungry. We didn't, we just, no, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> oh, I didn't even. Bullshit, man. Absolute goddamn horseshit. Give us back your 45 with your life. I, I, they, I don't even get my money back. Um, navigating the fog blindly, you practically bump holes with an ant to ship. The hell you. Pa, this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, all humans die. Y yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. No, you don't get to go, oh, you know, we just, that uh, was a, a little bit of a problem, but next time I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, fuck you. You don't, you don't get that luxury. Fuck you, Mattises. Fuck you. This is a zing zing. This is zing zing. I know zing zing would have wanted this. You're not human though, you're Zoltan. 
Yeah, but we're working for the Federation, I guess. We are Zoltan. I'm surprised that wasn't... I'm surprised they didn't change the dialogue for that. Oh. Hey, sick. This is great. I love these shields. Although, the moment we come up against somebody with a huge amount of rockets, we're just dead. I really need to stop using all my rockets, don't I? Well, whatever. Let's go to the store. Uh, seeing a trading depot set up near a beacon implies that there is an alien settlement on some nearby rock. You decide to check out their wares. Interesting. I have enough. <laughs> hull beam is the most powerful when targeting large, empty sections of hull. Dump damage if they hit the room. Does not have a system or a no. Okay. Oh look, another beam. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that dumb. Although. No, that's dumb. Although no. Manage the respirators, drone recovery arm, backup DNA bank, crew is safe in the stone storage, even if wait, in stone in clone storage, even if the system is broke or offline. Yeah, no. Um ooh. I think I think I'm gonna buy this guy. Sell all rock what left but 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 no, I, I need I need these. I need these. I'm not I'm not selling these. Rock I wanna I wanna get the rock man, I think. Hull beam is same as Halberd, but done with damage on empty rooms. Why well, I last run some hull rockets in an empty room and he said they're dumb. Okay, but it, so should I buy one of the? No, but that costs way too much. I don't have enough. Hmm. It only requires two power, though. Laser weapons need no missiles. Yeah. Hold on. There we go. There we go. I think that was a terrible idea, but I did it anyways, so you know, that's life. Yeah. Hull beam. All over the place. Yeah. <laughs> that weapon cannot penetrate any shields, by the way. Yeah, but it goes No, way more. Heavy laser is much better than beam. Yeah, but costs three, and this costs two. So if I buy one more of this, then I can f uh, buy two more of them, then I can do it. I want to do bzzz lots. So I, I I penetrate their shields, and then I immediately turn on both. Uh, you spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead, and stay off their radar. They, and stay off their radar. Yeah, let's let's fuck them up. Prepare to chase them without sensors. You can't maintain lock for long. The rebel ship slips away. Dang it. Here we go. Yeah, we bomb the shields, and then we immediately go for hull beam. Nebulas, nebulas are known to be popular mantis hunting grounds. Information you would have done well to heed here. Dude, dude, it's mantises. They're, they're simpletons. We can fuck them up. It'll be fine. Ooh, oh, almost. Eh? Mm, almost? Eh? Yeah, this weapon is fucking busted. I feel like this should have got a patch at some point to make it less like this. This is really dumb. I feel like it should do damage based on how much time it spends on each room, right? Oh, ooh. Oh, oh somebody's on board, but I don't care. Yeah! See, that shit's sick! That shit's so sick! Look at that! S-bombs are fantastic! I... Yeah! Dude! That's so good! 
Just bam, bam, done. The glaive beam is even stronger. It takes more power. I could find, and I could find a job in the time it takes to charge. Ah. Well, it works for now. Yeah, that's that's um. That's basically all of my FTL runs. A rock armament transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, and when you hail them, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant and seek no aid. Leave now. You know what? You know what, rock blow the rock bros. Lock bros? I'm really slow in my words at the end of this. Sorry. Um I I ain't gonna fight you. You know why? Because I really fucking love the rock, guys. They're great. Ooh, distress. Good night, Sir Gundam. Good luck, Jelly Boy. Good night, chat. Ooh, uh. Find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drivers are shot. We can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Sure thing. Give them fuel. I have a lot of weaponry. <laughs> Thank the gods. We can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home. So take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Um. Okay. Run safe. This is... Uh, mm. The problem I have here is I, I simply will never be able to run all this shit at once. This is just absurd. I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I'm supposed to do with all this. <laughs> it's too much. So I guess I go with burst laser and S bomb at the start to break through their shields, and then I go with halberd beam and and hull beam. Right? I think. Tangled wreck of many ships. Wait in dormancy here. You see lights flicker on what looks like debris. A rebel scout burst through the wreckage. Okay. Zap, zap, zap. Nope. Oops. Misspell FTL in the stream title. Ah, oh, it's close enough. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Can I hit all four here? can. Well, that's, this is busted as shit. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't need that. Genuinely don't understand what they were thinking when they made this mechanic. Immediately finds an enemy with no shields. Yeah. You understand what FTL is. <laughs> Red lettuce tomato? Kablamos. God, this really makes short work of the early game, doesn't it? Yoink. So should I go for one more of that? No, I need more system power, really. Should probably get one more system power right now. Because then I can... Uh... No, hold off. I don't. If I can't use both, then there's no point in getting one. Oh, could I make it? I could make it. I can make the distress. Yet to encounter a ship with more shields. Yeah, I'd still figure it out. Um, you look at a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spread virulently. They are settling, setting up a quarantine to contain it, but Ryan has broke out. Send in your crew to help control the crowds. The crew tries to keep the crowds in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at your crew, forcing them to retreat hastily. They barely get away without injury, but the same can't be said for the colony's leader. You quickly leave. Right, I hope I haven't picked up any sort of space, um, a piece. Uh, you got lucky. Did I, though? I feel like getting lucky would be, hey, you helped out. Here's a million scrap. Uh, this long-range beacon's almost hidden within Nebula. Yeah, I don't have to think about it. Let's go. Next sector. Civilian. Mantis. Civilian. Mantis. Civilian. Mantis. There's the safe, easy route, or there's the more difficult, fun route. And I think I'm going to go with the fun route. It's a man's route right here. Maybe you could get a zin zin. Yeah, maybe I could get a zin zin. You entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. I'm sure your hull plating is up to scratch and you have enough fuel in your tanks to make it through. I do not have any fucking fuel, but don't worry, there's a store right here. <laughs> to fuel. Lol. Yeah, soon to be like 10. 
Upon arriving, the beacon you hailed by a well-spoken mantis. Hail, traveler. These are dangerous times. Perhaps you find yourself needing our, need of our services? Appears to be a traitor. Yep. Yeah. Here, please. Um, Allison? I didn't rename any of my characters this time. I'm so sorry, chat. Did I sell one of these? I don't know. I'm keeping everything for the time being. I could! And then get more weapons, so then I can... So then I can... I can... Pop, pop that up. Mind control sounds like a meme. Yeah, it's it's fun, but I I don't I don't have the money for that. Sell all but halberd, S bomb, invest in better engines. They don't give me that much money though. I think I might sell that. I don't think I need the burst laser. And then, and then I'm gonna buy backup battery. So now, I, all I have to do is get one more weapons and then I can battery that and then I can get all four of these running at the same time. No, I can't. I'm very bad at maths. I would need two more. <laughs> what? Whatever. Whatever, we can do stuff. We can do stuff. I can S-bomb and then I can hull beam and halberd beam. That's what I'll do. Um... Yeah, sure, let's go here. Wow, Numa for Half-Life looks so good. I technically played something adjacent to Half-Life today. I just, you know, had to move on. There was other things I wanted to play, like FTL, because FTL's really fun. Mind control plus... Crew teleport is awesome because you can mind control someone and teleport them to your ship and murder them. Huh. Interesting. I might get boarded to death at some point. Um. This beacon is patrolled by an unmanned scout. Oh, oh, the ship starts to power up its LTL drive to get away. No doubt to warn this fleet of your position. Yeah, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is boring. This is a stupid mechanic. This is a real stupid mechanic. Whoop, shit. Nope, nope, not that one. That one. Okay. Give it a second. S bomb will immediately take out their thing with a bob, and then I wanna. Nope, I can do better than that. I can get all four. I'm just a little. A little, little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. That's so dumb. This is stupid. This is such a stupid mechanic. I don't understand why they did this at all. Whoop. It missed? Fuck. That's fine. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> because it's fun. Yeah, I guess. Also, also kind of ridiculous. What's the line? Oh, lasers, yes. We arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. Whoa. A young mantis in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck and begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. I don't want no fucking zing zing. Come on. Give me money, please. Fuck. It's fine. I got money, and then I instantly get healed anyway. You also got it real... You also got it real early. Uh, yeah, because I spawned with it. Didn't I? Motherfucker. This motherfucker, we remember. What? 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 Zing Zing is not worth- Zing Zing is not worth fucking 34 scrap, alright? I needed that money. Slight bit of fire happening. Don't worry, fire happens sometimes. It's just the- th Whoa, fire happens. Lots of fire. Too much fire. Help him out. 
Honestly, it should be all hands on deck, but, you know, I'm too lazy to select this guy and bring him up here. Oh, good God. Okay. You know what? You know what, guys? We're just gonna... Can't do that. Okay, we need to fix this up. No, no, no. No, no, Immediately come in here and fix this one up. And get, get this guy in here and get this guy out here and get this guy in here and then do that. There we go. Run that you died, that motherfucker with perfect hull damage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Right, yeah, no, he deserved to die. Fucking bastard. Two hull damage when I had two hull left and I was just about to go to a fucking store and fix myself up. It's bullshit, man. Oh, everybody should probably heal. Morning, fellow wankers. Evening. Just open airlocks and no fire. Yeah, but the problem was that the doors were broken because the fire started in the doors. Alright, let's go. Where are we going? Where are we jumping, boys? Uh, down? Just across. Whoop. What's this? You fan? You fancy you see something moving in the shadows of the beacon, but it all remains still. Ooh, distress. Right, distress. I feel like every room that isn't a system should be backup room for doors. I think that would that would be quite power hungry. I have no fuel. Uh, your cockpit lights up with a warning signal. You are being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract unwilling ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. Okay, well, he has super shields, so I might be dead here. Um, if I just do it just from this little corner. All the way through. No. Hmm. No, 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 no. What am I doing? Huh? No. Nah, fuck it. That that hits most things. Might have to jump from this fight. I might, but my S-bomb might 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 do okay here. No, I have to fight this pretty much. I think I can do this. They also have mind control. Yeah, yeah, yeah but there's nothing I can do about mind control. Oh. Okay. I think I might be fucked here. Oh yeah, I might be. Oh no, the Zoltan shields are down. I reckon I can do this. Oh boy. Ah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yes! Hit their shields. Okay, we'll be fine. Nope, he's back. He's back. Get back in here. Fix this shit up. Fix this up as well. Yes. Okay, we can do this. We got this. Oh, yep. Whoop. Yes! We got this. We've won. Got this. We'll be just fine. What? How are their shields repairing so quickly? Hmm. 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 It's fine. <gasps> no, it's not! S bomb! Hit their shields! Hmm. No, put that on there. Put that on there. Why? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm so fucked. Yep. Why is my S bomb not on? Why is my S bomb not on? Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm fucked. This is good game. There's no way. Yep, and he's just about to kill his friend. GG. I, I couldn't have done shit anyway. Well, that's an end to a stream. That was un that was anticlimactic and kind of shit. New high score? That's not a new high score, surely not. Oh, okay. Charlie still is the best. Dang it. <laughs> fucking zing zing, he's not worth any money, he's fucking useless. Also has the most combat kills. Fucking useless piece of shit. What has he ever done for me? Fucking shit pet piece of shit.
<laughs> ah, zing zing. Oh, whatever. Let's quit. That's enough for today. Um, I will see you all at a later date. Uh, that was a fun stream. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll uh, see you all Wednesday. Thursday. For, uh, Tuesday for, for Americans. Wednesday for Australians. And before we go, I'm going to make sure... I didn't do this last time. I'm editing it live on stream, everyone. So that we, we know what day we're going to be live. Tuesday. Got Tuesday wrong, but you know. Um, Wednesday. There we go. There was an error editing the command. The command does not exist. Well, I'm not a clever man. You share that fan art? No, I need to do that. I'll do that on Wednesday. All right. Bye-bye. Have a nice night. There's nobody streaming, so uh, I can't host anyone. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you all later.